special meeting of the uh, Rochester Stockbridge Unified District at 647. Uh, additions uh, and subtractions to the uh, agenda. <coughs> Uh, hearing none, we're going to go into, uh, this would be, I don't see a number on the top of this. Remember, we go by the date now. Yes, okay. Updated 417. This is the 417. I think it's uh, draft nine. Three. Draft, draft nine. Let's go with draft nine. Mm -hmm. Oh, I think the last one was draft eight. Um, so what we're looking at here is a uh, uh, another pass of the budget. Um, it is under the, it, it, it does comply with the Act 46 uh, merger requirements. It is under the excess pending threshold. Um, it still preserves, uh, what, doubling the guidance in Stockbridge, doubling the, the music in Stockbridge, um, increasing, uh, uh, increasing some of the the, the summer coverage uh, in the Stockbridge in, in the Stockbridge uh, office. Doubling the nurse. Doubling the doubling the nurse. Uh, increasing the uh, What? Full time guidance at Rochester. Yeah. Right. Full time guidance at Rochester. Um, yeah, increasing some math. Remedial done in the yeah, we're increasing math in software. Right, there's some of the there, 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 there's some of that in here. I think that uh, the last round of a full time person is not in here. Um, this uh, um, this includes uh, some changes to the administration uh, uh, model. We're uh, able to. Uh, uh, Retain the, the the current Rochester principal, who uh, as uh, a person who's ensconced in in in, uh, Vermont, in the in the V Stars uh, 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 program, um, reduces our, our cost for for administration at, at least for next for uh, next year. Um, what was the other? There's one other adjustment. I'll probably um, that we did reduce the inter um, the inner. Yeah, we, we went over with a fine tooth clone, the inner school programming a little bit. We checked and, and, and verified it, and then was it we're able to uh, tighten the technology. Are you going to do the lines eventually? Uh, I, I was just kind of giving a, a general overview, okay. and David was going to kind of go through it, I thought. Okay. And I want to I remind to everybody our goal tonight is to hopefully find a number that we are happy with, that we feel comfortable with, and we are understanding to be able to move forward. Right, this is this is less of a less of a theoretical give and take kind of conversation and more of the we need to get to we need to get to a number to warn it to take something out to the to, 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 to the community. Well I think so if I may, from mm -hmm. last week it was very clear that we need to have a, a budget that we can stand behind. Yeah. Correct to, to the people. And I think and that, that um, I feel after spending four four and a half hours at the SU yesterday with Carl, um, I have a much better understanding of of what the different what we are buying, what we're you know, um, and what kind of programming we can have, um, and what are some of our needs are. Um, we uh, spoke for quite a while with the technology to just kind of find out what. What you know? What you, they're planning on? Per What's, what is that? Well, like the equipment. Well, just like what? What was he planning on purchasing? Technology teacher. No. Uh, no, 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 no. Director of technology. Director. Right. 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 I guess I was just trying to use that as an, an example no, of. Um, uh, you know, we really went through it to, to see. You know, to, to really get a good understanding and uh, of, of it and to try to do the best that we can and we have to remember that this is we're taking small steps this is our first year we do want to do some major things as we walk down this road together but we need to take it in small steps so we're under the cap we are un under the five we're under the five percent cap we're under the excess spending excess, excess spending threshold threshold yeah. correct David. David will probably go over. Yeah. Um, why don't we Why don't we move into let, letting uh, uh, David go through more of the the, the nuts and the bolts? Section over here, you can see how we calculate the, what the 
the late education spending is. The equal divide by equalized pupils, and you get the from pupil spending, which drives the tax rate. This is the this is the so the, the spending per pupil is seventeen thousand six twenty nine under the seventeen thousand eight sixteen. Equalized tax rate by the, the expenditures divided by the equalized equal pupils. Uh, here we come down to the equalized tax rate of dollar seventy nine by eight cents incentive brings down to dollar seventy one. Uh, and then compared to last year, the, the merger law says that we we cannot pay more than five percent above our, our equalized tax rate of last year, which was a dollar forty four seventy six in Rochester. So we cannot spend more than. Eight cents above that, or, or can't be eight cents below, or or, uh, or above it. So this, no, sorry, let me back out of it. The five percent is not the homestead tax rate; it's the equalized tax rate. So they take the equalized tax rate, which is hidden there. I'll just show it out. Dollar sixty-two was our equalized tax rate. So add the eight cents, eight point one three cents from here to that, and you come to a dollar seventy seventy-eight. Take it away from that, it comes to dollar eight fifty-four. So somewhere in that range of a dollar seventy to a dollar fifty-four is what our equalized tax rate will be in Rochester, and it will be the same in, in uh, Stockbridge. Because our preliminary is outside of that range, we, we get drawn down to the upper limit of the range. So we are paying on a dollar seventy, not on the dollar seventy-one that we calculate from our spending and our equalized pupils. So equalized tax rate is dollar seventy seventy-eight. And it's obviously the same for both towns. It's a single unified district now, so you have the same uh, equalized tax rate. And then you, because the CLA is different in each town, you divide that into the into the equalized tax rate to get the homestead tax rate. So because the properties in Rochester are valued above the market, the CLA is above 100 percent. So you divide by more than 100 percent, you get a lower tax, a lower homestead tax rate than the equalized tax rate. The exact reverse is. Well, not exactly. It's, it's a similar direction, but not quite as strong. So in, in Stockbridge, a, a CLA of 104% means that it's the properties are valued at 104% of what the market says they're valued. So they're a little, bit, a little bit overpriced for the market. And so it reduces the $1.70 down to $1.63 as the homestead rate in Stockbridge. So this is the overall picture. The last thing that we want to look at on this page, I think, is the change in the homestead tax rate. So up here in fiscal 18, the homestead tax rate was $1.4476. And in 19, we're looking at $1.49. So it's, it's almost five cents more. And that's what, where that number comes from, the difference between the $1.4948, the homestead tax rate, after the CLA has been applied to the equalized tax rate. Compare that to the homestead tax rate the prior year. So it's gone up about four, almost five cents. And over here, it goes up almost four cents from from a dollar fifty nine seventy to a dollar sixty three forty seven. So that's the tax picture. Next, we we can we should go and look at the components. What goes into this? And I'll look first at revenue, and then secondly at expenditures. But before we go any further, is there any, are there any further questions about what you see here, or comments that you want to address either to the board or questions to me? Hearing none, I'm going to go straight to revenue. The big change between this version of the of the budget and the one we saw last week is this line here, the small schools grant. Um, in Stockbridge, it went down a little bit from I think it was seventy nine thousand the last time, and in Rochester, it went up by hundred sixty four, went up two hundred and sixty four. I've been trying for several weeks to find to reach the agency of education to to find out what the small schools grant would be for next year. The <coughs> common practice of the AOE over the last 15 years is to send out in December an estimator of what the small schools grant is, and then you don't know anything else until you start receiving it in October of the following year. I got no word back, I had no communication with AOE until I met on Friday at a meeting with, with somebody who was there from the AOE, Brad James, and I asked him directly and he said, well, the answer to your question is that you have to go back to the statute, to, uh, to Act 46. And if you go back to Act 46, what you see in there is that when two, when two school districts merge, um, as long as they don't close a school, 
they keep the same small schools grant dollar value in perpetuity. I believe they're going to change that. So, if you think they're going to allow that to, ch to continue, you're not in the same camp as the customer over here because I'm with her. <laughs> There's no way that'll continue. There's no way. It is for this year. Though. It is for this well, year. Well, I doubt it. And they, they are still trying to change all sorts that, of things that's this fine, year. But Whether they will be successful, we don't know. One of the things that, that r relates to us compared to, well, compared to what's in the legislature at the moment is on the tax sheet we saw that we came in at $1.71 when we calculated our equalized, our equalized tax rate, um, and, but we came down to the 5% boundary at the limits. So, some people in the legislature want to do away with those limits, so we would lose our lose on that. So there's all sorts of things but out luckily, there. luckily, it's only a half cent in right. this budget. It's in only a half budget. cent if right. that 5% goes away, because we really would, didn't want to count on it. We want to, but we don't want to really get any other. So it's only a half a cent difference there. So this year is more maniacal in the legislature than it usually is. It's usually maniacal this time of the year. Some people call it the Christmas tree phrase, phase of the budget of the of the legislative process, where people start hanging things on all sorts of other pieces of legislation. And so we don't know what's going to come out. It's usually not rational at this time of the legislative process. So we don't know what's going to happen. But this is the information we have right now. And the board has to make a decision about what it wants to recommend to the voters based on the knowledge we have now. Remembering that the majority, by far the majority of districts voted on their budget in March. So they had even less information than you have. So as much as you'd like to have more certainty, imagine how, how much more certainty those people in, in January when the boards voted for the March town meeting votes. It's, it's a crazy system, but that's how it is. And that's what we work with. Every year we work with it. This year it seems to be a little bit stranger than usual. But coming back to here, so the revenue here went up substantially. So with the revenue going up, it, it means that the difference in our total expenditures and our, and our revenue is our education spending, which drives the tax rate. So that difference between the two means that it's a smaller gap, means a lower tax rate. So having more revenue means a lower tax rate for the same amount of expenditures. That's the main thing that's different in here. The other vulnerability that I'll mention again, I'm not sure everybody really heard it, the things are happening in Washington, as you know. I think things are happening uh, strangely in Montpelier. They're happening even more strangely in Washington. And we don't know what kind of Title I money is going to be made available to states and to districts. So we are making some assumptions here that we will get this amount. It's considerably less than we've been getting in the past. It's been going down over the years. And I just read a letter uh, from a year ago in which the Secretary of Education advised that districts only, should only expect to have 75% of what they had the prior year. It, to make a, because many districts will use Title I money in the summer, so they have to get their application in, in June. And so the advice at this time a year ago was, put your application in just for up to 75% of what you usually had in the recent years. Um, if more money comes, you can make an amend do an amendment to spend the higher amount. But to be sure that you don't put in a, an application which leaves you high and dry, just put in for a lower amount and then add things later as, as, more, as we become more certain as to what the feds are going to be getting us. Part of the, of, the, of the difficulty of Washington is that their fiscal year starts from September and goes through, goes, goes through September, starts in October, goes through September. So when they are budgeting for their next year, we already have our three years into our new fiscal year. And so there's an overlap with the voting. So that's the revenue side. On the expenditure side, you've already had some insights as to the major items that have been, have been changing. One of, one of the, from a programmatic point of view, not from a dollar point of view, but from a programmatic point of view, one of the big changes was in this area of inter-school programming. Uh, the, the group that met yesterday felt that we, that the board would want to have something in there as a placeholder, something so that when we come around next year, we say, oh, yeah, we, we should remember about that. We had thought this was a good idea, but we couldn't put a lot of money in this budget, but we might want to uh, reconsider what we want to do for next year. So in the school programming, where the music from this music uh, program from this school, the music program from that school could get together and form a big chorus or a big band or whatever it was, that style of thing. Um, we put a, normal, a small amount here in the, in the general ed for pre-K, 
we put another amount down in here for K6, but it was a much smaller amount than was was presented last time around. So, so in the pre-kindergarten, we see in the school programming of uh, two thousand dollars. It was I think somewhere around six thousand last time, something like that. And down here, the inter-school programming is also reduced down to 2,000. And special program down here is in at 4,000. So that the total of these is 8,000, two, four, and two up there. Previously, it was 24,000. So there was a big, significant percentage of that programming was, was reduced. So what's in there is a placeholder, something that will get us going in our first year of operation. It may not be where we want to be in the second or fifth or 10th year, but it's a, it's a start. And it's a way of uh, saying this is something we need to remember to work on for next year. Um, in addition to the, so that's both the inter-school programming, where there would be some exchange of students and or teachers, and special programs would be things within a school, which would be enrichment activities that, uh, where where it might be anything from uh, foreign language introduction to to an enrichment in mathematics or an enrichment in language or, or artist in residence or any any of those kind of combinations so that's that's the, that's one of the areas that changed since the last time you looked at it and then we also looked at some of the other things that were mentioned we we made a change to the cost of uh, the principal So what, what we did here was to look at, between the two schools, a one and a half FTEs to be divided more or less equally between the two schools. So that there'd be 125,000 there. Previously it was more like 150, 160,000, something like that. So something like $40,000 was, was cut out of, this, out of this line from the previous version. The other thing that, that it was done was the SEP counselor support services for students. So what's happened down here is that the, uh, so this needs to be taken out. So the, the goal was to take the SAP counseling out, well, to, that, that the person who was going to, in each school who was going to be doing the SAP counseling, that, which is substance abuse prevention counseling, would be the guidance counselor. And the, the goal was to have part of the guidance counselor charged up here to the SAP counselor, because some of that work is grant funded, so we need to have it recorded here so that we can get the revenue in to support that. And I can see that I didn't succeed in, in doing all of it the way I hoped to do it some of it so that for example down here in Stockbridge we see that the guidance counselor with a total of 0.4 is divided 0.36 for guidance and 0.04 for for um, for uh, SAP counseling but the benefits for this are buried down in here <coughs> here the benefits are up, up here so it's, it's not a, a direct it didn't achieve everything that it's uh, what intended to do but it's it got a part where there are the numbers the same or is there some adjustment in that number there are some adjustments so this number needs to come out because it's down in here okay and over here I didn't have the opportunity to, to put a number well, the num number down here needs to be put up there as the other way around. It's so that we sh we're showing that there's SAP <coughs> expenses. So we can use that to offset the revenue that's coming in to support it. And then this will need to be broken out and somebody put up there. So bottom line is there is there's an amount in here which is more than is needed and that, that we need to take out tonight before we vote. Okay. But uh, that's good. hard work. It's, it's, it's a minus, that's good. <laughs> it's a minus. Concerns that were the idea today was that we might be. The question was whether we were paying twice for the same service. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
in the assessment for technology. And each district in, enters into an agreement and makes a separate, cuts its own check to, to Renaissance, the, the company that hosts it. There are three components to their service. One is a hosting service, um, which means that you, you get your foot in the door. There's a subscription service um, where you pay on the basis of the number of students that are going to be accessing this testing uh, opportunity. And then there's some additional services. And the, what we saw what we saw here in, in effect, it was only in Rochester, was this year we've already spent $57,000, was spent in here. So it was 6,000 was put in and it was was divided equally between the two so that both would have access to it. Whether that's a, a service that we want for next year, it's, it's relatively small potatoes, but it's, it's, an opportunity. it's an opportunity. Right now it's in the budget. And then down in the technology, there are the, the regular expenses for the software. So okay. this is an additional service which was in Rochester only. Of the four districts that I looked at, it was the only one that had that service. All the others had just the hosting and the subscription. So, uh the hosting and the subscription are in this line item. No. Hosting and subscription. Th this this is just the additional services. Are those services we're, we're going to be needing going forward, Bonnie? Do you know what those are? Those are the assessment pieces, David. Star three hundred and sixty. Yeah, yeah, those are the yes. assessment. Those yes. are the regular Star three hundred and sixty. Yes. 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 They are listed on the on the bill as professional development services. In addition to the hosting and the subscription, yeah. so I, I don't know what these are. The, these are the progress monitoring testing that we do with kids to find out what yes. how they're making progress in their class, and yes. we're doing it throughout the whole issue yes. in every yes. one yes. of the schools. So this is just Hoopy Stockbridge and Rochester share of that amount of money. We can do that as many times as we want to during the year, and I think they do them in Rochester three times to see how the kids are doing in. in uh, same thing with Stockbridge. So you're saying that these, this line item um, 165 for the Star 360 test is actually a assessment from the SU? No, not from the SU. No, not it's, from the SU. This is the This is the tool we right. use. Yeah, I guess I, it, it's, it's a tool that we use to assess our kids. It's Correct. not. Sorry, I was getting those confused Correct. then. Okay, um, and this is a tool that is used in other schools as well. All of the SU. Okay, and just he said that he didn't. The way he said it sounded like it was not in other schools. No. Right. It's Nash, it's all over. It's all over, okay. Right. So these yeah, are the additional. It's, it's, it's not, it this this particular moment. expense is not in other schools. This particular expense. Well, they this they line. They have a different expense. Okay. Okay. These are different services, We're totally different services. What are you talking about? I, I, so I'm talking about on the bill to Rochester, there are three sections. All the other districts have only two sections. So the, the item here is the third section. And it's for And it's, it's for called Assessment, Renaissance, and Annual Implementation of Data Coaching Renewal. Bring it on over. Let's see. And that was 5697, 5697. That does something professional. Let's take that out, please. Yeah, we will. So you want to take that out? Yes. So you yeah, still have hosting are we, are we and subscriptions sure down in the technology area. Sure we take it out? Sure we here. How much is it? Sixty-six hundred dollars. He said. Can you bring it it's over and show? Yes. But what of what kind? What it is sounds it? Sounds like what it is. Data coaching. But let's know what it is before we start. Well, I do know that we did have our our teacher did not know how to administer the Star 360 test at one point. I think what this is that should is be start when the results come back. Uh, from the Star 360. This helps them to understand what they have to do in order to work on the areas that the kids are going to be So it's uh, kind of, I, but I, I'm a little puzzled because I don't know that other shows up in. Within the SU are using this same tool. Probably is an extra. So it must have been something that Dan is to ask for. Subscription. The hosting. And it's a professional. I'm sure that's something Danny paid for then. Or, or Dan or something. Yeah, 
decide to get and the board yeah, approved. But Bonnie we, says we have not accessed it in, in okay. standing left. To my, to my understanding, we've had no professional development around any of our assessment since I've arrived. It looks like it's an annual fee, so I mean, if it's something that do you want to look into it a little bit to make sure it's something we're not using, or do we just want to take it right out? Um, or if we're I, not using it, I want to support it. Yeah, if it's data, what I think it is, is it's, and what I think it is, is it's data assessment coaching. It helps people better understand if I take the Star 360 and I get this how for data, what do you do to help me move forward? Okay. And that's what I believe it is. So, so, so the teacher gets gets information on how to here's the here's all the scores in my classroom. Exactly. Here's what I can uh, how here's what I can suss this out and decide that we really need to be focused more on building word banks, or we really need to be exactly. focused more on uh, on this aspects of numbers or something. They don't like give that. that to you online. Star 360 doesn't give you a. Uh, uh, they give you some of that. <coughs> but I think that. See, I'm not really certain. This this has to be. We need to look into this before yeah. you start taking it. Let's out. leave it in there. I think if we can it. leave it in, if it's what I believe it is, we'll take good use of it and we'll connect with Stockbridge because they're giving the same assessments. If it is professional development, then we'll build that into our professional development calendar for next year. I'm hesitant to take it out because I'm not certain well, it isn't going to help the us be <laughs> Let's know what a thing is before we do something with it. <laughs> I'm sorry, go ahead. Uh, oh, my question would be, wouldn't a teacher know when a student is or is not learning something? Not necessarily. No? The, the beauty of this test oh, is that it gives you things that you can, that teachers can do, like grouping kids together that are in similar places, knowing what the next skill is that they need. Um, and, and yeah, there's a lot of teachers that are intuitive enough to figure that out, but this takes some of the guesswork out of that. What are they, what are they missing? What did, what is it, why are they doing oh, poorly here? What did they miss? And so they work on that unit. To so be able this to highlights a specific <coughs> weakness. Yes. That right, and, tell, and gives the teacher some, some ideas about how to correct it. It's data driven it instruction. We're going by the data, not how you think the kid may be or what he might be missing, but what does the data show you? What is the evidence? And the tests give you that so that then you get the diagnosis and you can make a far clearer prescription for the student. And then I just want to show you one example of the, of the shaving that was done yesterday down here in the equipment for for buildings and grounds here at Rochester. That there was 12,000 in there before. And I, by identifying what specific items there were that were going were to be uh, purchased with that $12,000, I decided to cut back to $10,000. That would be sufficient to cover the items that were needed. So that's just an illustration of the kind of level of shaving that was done yesterday. And I think with that, I, I'll stop and, and see what question they might have. Go ahead. I still don't understand why um, our snow removal is done by the town and theirs in Rochester's is not. That's a pretty big difference between snow removal and grounds. Our town crew does ours and they get paid um, by the mile as they plow and they get paid to do our parking lot. So I don't understand. The town does our parking lot. But if you think about this campus, there's a lot more sidewalks, yes, sidewalks. fire entrance that have to be cleared, and, and our custodial staff does that. And um, we have this year, Danny had set up um, a contractor with a small snow plow to do the uh, wider sidewalks out here in front of the high school building. There's just a lot of sidewalks and entryways that have to be cleared. Well, you know how I can solve that. <laughs> I think it's something we, we, we could be working on in the next year to, to find assessment. more efficiencies. Right. Yeah. Uh, I think that's all we need to do is is because our town pay the town pays for ours. Yeah. And right. your town probably and, should pay for it. And yours. maybe that's something we can have a discussion about with our select board going yeah. forward. We, but it's already the town pays for this outside. Uh, but, I think, but not the sidewalk. Just not right. 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 And I but think there's also as the sidewalk. as the building Use, usage patterns change that we may find that yeah. we're not needing to clear nearly as many uh, 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 fire exits and such. Exactly. But so you may not need all the parking. Exactly. And I think that as we go forward, especially in this next year, for the next six months, we're going to have a lot of discussion about 
these efficiencies. I, it, it, unfortunately, we're, we can't do that tonight. Uh, yeah. But yes, and, but that is on the list of something again, that we need to be aware the, of. Philosophically, Joanne, I think in a lot of these situations, the idea of, you know, we're, we're, we're verifying that, yes, these numbers are based on a, on a school that operated very differently than it's going to be operating now. But I think at the end of the day, what we, we all kind of agree that it's more important to over budget and come in low and save money. Oh, Carl, as you long know how Stockbridge hates that. <laughs> <laughs> but I'd like to, I would like to ask, what, while we're there, obviously the joke's on Stockbridge because Rochester already knows this. So we're talking one zone, correct? Is that what we're talking about? Yeah. We're you might as well what? just say it. Which one? One zone in this the school is open, right? School. There, there, yes, okay. we are. We are going to. We are going to be keeping uh, the, the the one zone in, in in the high school open. Yes. Because okay. obviously they all know it, but we don't. We were. I didn't. Know actually, it. we don't. I, you didn't know that. We've never. We've, we've never actually, actually never had a conversation about that. Obviously, if the heat is on. Well, no, but we haven't actually. Even though the heat is stated in the budget, we haven't actually ordered. Well, this is assuming one zone is open at lower heat. Yes. I mean, somebody uh, must know that answer, yeah, or you wouldn't. Good, but I just want to be clear about this. Jesus Christ, the actually using um no this is under revenue oh the revenue side because uh, he has at, here we go at the 14 4 18 here's his revenue um we're he's doing it at uh 5 15 5 15 5 is the revenue tuition for rochester and stock bridge and stock bridge okay so we don't know what the allowable is right is that conservative? Is that what you're saying? Um, because that's going to be a big difference. I mean, if we're coming in, in at 17,000, roughly, jack up our, mm -hmm. jack up the state tuition. is never going to allow us to have 16.5 as allowable tuition. They just aren't going to do it because there's a certain percentage that you can't go above or you're actual cost of per student for that <coughs> so bruce i sent you an email about that to give you a heads up because you sent me a letter in december saying if you're going to bring something up give me a heads up so that i can investigate when was the so email? so my question is at the 418 how many students is that incorporating for tuition in rochester can you tell me what line i'm here on please um it's the revenue. It's on the it's revenue. On the revenue, revenue sheet. Thank the four hundred and eighteen bucks. Tuition K through six. <coughs> That'd be twenty-seven for Rochester. Right, and it would be six for Stockbridge. You're right, and that's. Are is we a, really getting twenty-seven? Yes. Yeah, David, if David could pull up that tuition revenue again. We have a lot of tuition students. We have. You can see we have two preschool and. And we could, worked really hard on. There's twenty-seven. To try to make sure they're was real. The, was this the December date or the October date? This is current AIS, right? David? <laughs> That's old. <laughs> 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 
I want to verify that these are the correct number of students. March. March. This, and this was the, the, the bodies that were enrolled in Rochester in March. Okay. There's actual right, names. Because that's, that's not in here, and it doesn't tell you, tell us what. Names are not in here, no, but there's actual students are in here. No, what I'm saying is, you're not. We're not seeing what you're pulling up for allowable tuition. So that's just figure out the numbers. You're saying that yeah, that sheet's not in this packet. I don't think. Right, the sheet's so, not in this so packet. So, so is this being figured at sixteen five, fifteen five? Fifteen five. You see the fifteen five right there? Next to it? It's up on the board. Look on on app. We don't call them app. Okay. So you can see there's in grade six, the third student is a Hancock student. And there was 15.5 for both Rochester and Stockbridge, all K through six tuition kids. He's assuming it's 15.5. Then you have a different rate for preschool. Right. And again, this was actual bodies. Right. And we intend to, you know, when you, you, know, you set an allowable tuition, and then after the fact, you see where that number was and what the actual costs were. And um, there's a three percent swing mm -hmm. uh, on either side of those, and uh, you know we we have at least you know, we 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 have uh, you know as long as we're we're, we're relatively on, on on target, we have you know intentions of doing what Woodstock does to us, which is you know if we build back. We, if we need to build back, we build back. I think that'll be a discussion for another time that this board well, we know what the number is, but I mean, that's that's not something that, that uh, we might come in at different opinions. I think what's confusing the situation is comparing the education spending per equalized pupil with the tuition per, per students, because they're two totally different numbers. That's right. They're talking, they're, so they're not, they're not covering the costs of the same students. That's right. And they're not covering the same costs for the same students. So you can't compare the apples and oranges. You could, you could find another way of counting students and counting costs, and you could come up with maybe 90 or 20,000 per student. And which would be the right one? The right one would be the right one for the purpose for which it was being calculated. So for taxes, the amount is, 15, is, is the 17,000. Education spending pre equalized pupils. It includes certain expenses, excludes some. That's right. It includes some students, it excludes some. <coughs> The per pupil spending for the allowable tuition includes the students who are your who are your tuition in students, which the equalized pupil does not. So it's a different body of students, and it can be for a place like Rochester can be significantly different. If you've got 20 or 30 students coming into Rochester, that's going to change the number of the denominator for the what the cost is divided by significantly compared to the equalized pupils. Yes, in a thousand dollar swing for 25 kids. Is a lot of money. Okay. So, so what I'm so saying is, I hear what you're saying, but I think you're mistaken. I think you're comparing apples and oranges, because the cost, education spending for equalized people cannot be compared to the the, the allowable tuition cost for. I'm not. Yeah. I'm, I'm not misunderstanding. Okay. I know that this year we were getting 16.5 from Hancock and Granville students coming to Rochester. That was the maximum allowable allowable tuition for primary tuition school students. Know at the end of the year, after the actual costs are calculated. It's on their website. We know yes. that it was 16.5. You, you never see the allowable tuition on the website. That's why I think you're confused. You see the announced. No, the you see the allowable. And you see what we're actually charging. We were charging 20,000 for secondary, 16.5. I'm not misconfused. I've seen it. I saw it. Tim, I think we're getting, I think we're kind of getting uh, a little off track in terms of the budget. Well, we can go through the, the, and look at where we can look at where we at. The the important thing to remember is that the the, the 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 amount we are allowed to put in our budget is the announced tuition, which is the fifteen five. Okay. If there's if there's if the, if the, if the real costs change one way or the other, we either have to refund or we have to uh, bill back, or it's in the three percent wiggle room, and we just call the wash and walk away. All right. So our, is the state going to allow us to charge fifteen five? Yeah. The state is going to allow us to charge 15 dollars Okay, that was my original question. Okay. Is, you know, is the state going to allow us to charge whatever you're figuring the tuition? Yeah, we, we, this is the, that is the number, and I just verified it right now. I just looked it up on the AOE website. Okay, so see, it is there. There is something called the allowable tuition, which is the 
the announced tuition, yeah, is what I'm looking at. This is what because the allowable tuition is a back is a looking backwards number. The, the announced is a looking forward number. So we're looking forward for a budget, so we're using the announced tuition. Okay. There's no health insurance for the principal for Stockbridge in line. decided to not budget based on actual positions, but to budget based on... If you listen to me carefully, you, you, hear, you hear the explanation of your question. So what was done on Monday was to say we're not going to budget based on... So the health insurance is not based on particular positions. It's based on a 1.0 FTE for a total of 125000 so that the direct answer to your question is that 31,000 is spread between the two positions. Right. Well, that's a healthy number. That's a healthy number for two. Zero is zero. Right. Well, just in terms of people looking at the budget and understanding it, do it right. easily, that's the kind of thing where it would be nice if the number was in both places. Right. That's so we just so understand if you're, if you're saying 31.7 is, is <coughs> what the, the total would be for the, 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 the two one, people one, that would be filling that 125,000, so, let's just split that number down the middle too, just so there's not a zero that catches people for, eye. For the sake of, of this particular item, Bonnie just told me she doesn't need any help. Sure. So. Well, then it might be nice to switch the number place. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Just so right. it's well, again, yeah. yeah. like you would in Stockbridge, right? Like you'll wear a cap. Yeah. Zeros catch your eye. Why is something that's well, exactly. in one converse? Blank spaces yeah. catch the eye. You want to make sure. And right. I mean, if you if you look up at the top and Rochester has fifty nine percent of the expenditures, and there's third, you know, I mean, it's it's this is be all a rehearsal for what we're going to be answering later. Exactly. On. exactly. Right. That's why I'm saying we just so we want it prepared so we can so we can talk about it. So Perfect. We can answer it. So we saw that problem and created another problem. It's going to have to be the best final. The problem that we've created is that we've now taken part of the health insurance for the administrative assistance. So when the committee yesterday decided they were not going to tie this budget to positions, but decided to have this global floating group of Principal. principles, Correct. they didn't indicate how they wanted to deal with the other expenses that went with it. And, and this, this gets there, it answers the question of we don't want to have to tell the voters that that's fine. Mm -hmm. I just tell you that all the other items in there also. Right, okay, no, I mean, the, the, the key thing is is that we, we, we have the proper FICA, we have the proper unemployment, we have the proper insurance numbers for the, for the, 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 the blended positions, you know, and, they're, and, and, and we're not, we're not uh, going to have, as, as Jenny put it, a $30,000 surprise. That's good to know. Carl, did you check on whether there should be another seventh grade student in Stockbridge listed on the... 260, line 269. I believe he's included. He wasn't included in the original one. There's six Stockbridge sixth graders right now. In the, are there six in the class? Yeah, there's two okay. new ones this year. Okay. So then. So that's another 16. Right, that would be those. That would be the one. Because that's the that 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 Stockbridge, but he goes to a different school now. Right, but he, he finishes <laughs> elementary school at, a, at a, a, a different a different school. His parents were paying the tuition, and now he's a seventh grader. He gets uh, come back to he, he comes back and he should be in at the the state allowable. Okay. The other thing to remember, and I don't know if that's this situation, but sometimes when you see you're off by a number like that in the state of Vermont, if if mom and dad live in different towns, a youngster can go to either school tuition free. 
sometimes that. Correct. That's that's why so much of the of the role of the Stockbridge principal and the Stockbridge office manager is verifying everyone's residency because people people pop on your exactly. well and, and sometimes it's very legitimate you know mom the kid has been living with mom and uh getting elementary school somewhere else and now they want to move some some place to take advantage of the fact that dad lives in stock right and and that's legit yeah. other yeah. times you know you find out that a homestead is you know some made up address up a road somewhere exactly <laughs> um, just another zero that popped up at me um was the uh number uh it's 46 tuition I'm not sure there's a simple answer for that, but I just uh, Yep, that is that. Um, is that another way of blending it? No, no, that is a specific Rochester resident that um, is being tuitioned and Stockbridge does not have any. Or why is that different than. It's an elementary school. It's not basic. We should talk about it in non-public yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, thank you. Just like to know and, about that. Yeah. And that uh, probably would, is going to be a question at our meeting. So it would be nice if we had the proper narrative to um, discuss that. Yeah, we did, yes. Yeah, so we, 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 we don't go all hip of furba. Right. We can't do executive <laughs> session and not look at any old meeting. Well, no, but if the, the question's off the floor, we need no, to have no, the no, correct that's, answer. That's, right. Right. that's why we need all these questions. That's what we're here for, is to challenge everything so that we know. Um, right, exactly. Retirement, yeah. retirement. Then that's line 40, 37. There's something for Stockbridge, there's nothing for Rochester. And again, nothing. The answer to that is a simple answer. It only relates to the paraeducator. Gotcha. Ah. You don't pay any retirement for teachers. Gotcha. And there's no parent educator in the field of practice. So that's to uh, 1777. Yep. Right. Gotcha. Right. And that, that, is, is, that is not a parent educator. That is a 504 parent educator. It would have been on our central office budget. Right. Okay. Section 504 of the, uh, uh, I want to say idea. Uh, Civil yeah. Rights Act. Civil Rights Act. Right. Right. But basically, it, 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 it says that, that uh, uh, the students need to be accommodated uh, in, in their school for uh, 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 physical disability or, or uh, uh, physical challenges. And, and there's no money in the budget for it. The, the, it's not. It's not a fed. It's, it's, it's just a civil rights law. It's not. A, it's not. A, it's not a federal education policy. So kids that are on idea B or, or, or special education, often there's there's reimbursement that goes to their services, so they're handled through the special education department. Um, the way the Civil Rights Act works is, you know, the district is responsible for their own. So this this person, you know, has uh, uh, has a need for a paraeducator to to, to 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 help the student. Or, or, and this uh, is a physical need or a. It could be yeah, a broad section. Yeah, right. Okay. Body cast and can't come to school. We have to accommodate and make sure that they okay. have Yeah, it could be a short term or a long term right. situation. Yeah, it equal opportunity. Equal opportunity. Equal opportunity. Right. Yeah. right, right. It's it's the, the, the biggest difference is it's not a a, a special education a, a, a idea is there there's two gateways about the kids' uh, educational uh, capabilities that the that the, that the child has to meet. My, how much went for three minutes? <laughs> three gateways. Uh, three gateways. Okay. There's there, but but basically, <coughs> it's a different. It's a it, 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 because that's the, the those are the federal uh, idea B uh, regulations. They you know they, they come with with funding from the federal government to offset those costs. The civil rights costs of of, of, of 504 uh, a student you know are just it's just borne by the town. People often think of it as as the Ramp Act. It was originally it was Section 504 of the Civil Rights Bill that children who had physical disabilities began accessing schools in the early 50s. If you couldn't climb the stairs, you couldn't come to school. And basically, that's that's where it started. From. It's really just an accommodation. If you make the accommodation, the youngster can learn adequately. If you don't make the accommodation, the youngster can't access school. Frank, All right, 243, 244, fuel uh, propane. Is that going to be based on a contract that the supervisory union has entered into? Yeah. 
Yes, all right, okay. So have they have they accepted bids already or so that's all that's all set. For the rest of this year. And so we'll do it again. When when? Uh, probably in the fall, spring or fall. Yeah. Really that late. Yeah, um, David, when when's the bid go out for fuel oil, do you know? I think we work with the with a, a metal person. Is that, is that right? Yeah, it's the energy company out of Energy Maine. company, and they 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 uh, investigate the market every day, and they, oh. they come up with so we, we take advantage of, of the best expertise out there that's mm -hmm. available. So lot, there are a number of companies that do this across New England, across the country now. Mm -hmm. So they are consolidators, basically. Yeah, yeah. Um, and so we they will they will call us in a moment's notice and say hey, we think it's time to to are you are you ready to move in and make a bid tomorrow because the price in, on the market is. Mm -hmm. I was asking because I know I get my. I know I get my contract from yeah, for propane. I know it's coming up fairly soon, and they'll say, "Here it is." You know, lock it, and you know, it'll be coming up soon. So the, uh, these folks also lock in Dartmouth College and yeah. Hitchcock yeah, Hospital great. and nice. things like that. That's great. Thank you. Uh, I have a question. Um, what are the repair and maintenance costs? Of forty-nine thousand dollars. Can you use a line item number so we can go there? Two thirty-six. Two thirty-six. Um, I I don't know if Bonnie can speak specifically, but I do know historically in our budget that that has been um the <coughs> numbers in, in that area. It is a big number. Does but that include the high school, or is that just the elementary? I can only speak for historically in our historical budget. I've seen high numbers in that line. For, ne for next year, it's going to be just the elementary school, but we do have some significant um, we do have some significant issues. We have some some leaks in the roof. We have some plumbing issues that have to be addressed. We have like all in the floor that we're not sure has been maintained, and we need to make sure that's maintained. Is, uh, is, is there a breakdown somewhere of where this of where this number was generated? Yes, Jesse generated it from actual tasks that she feels needs to be completed. So it's projected forward. Right. And with it's, that, it, is her, it is her best guess. No, she oh. did not get estimates from all of the different contractors, but she feels she has a pretty good handle on it. Because so I'm just guessing again. School. That's not touching the high school. That's not doing anything at the high school at this point. Yeah. Now, if one zone stays open in the high school and something goes wrong over there, you know, a heater or something, uh, obviously, in the floor. Um, obviously well, we have to address it. Yeah, yeah it's, a, that's a, it's a big number. It is. To not, I, I feel like I don't know that I can defend that number without estimates and some sort of breakdown of where that number came from. It's one of the biggest numbers we've got. Or maybe if we had a list of... From yeah, I mean, even if we saw her Jesse. list looking down, projected, and got a copy of it. So the glycol thing is the floor in the addition. Yeah. That we talked about it. That yeah. we talked about, I think, two meetings ago? Yeah, yeah. yeah. she gave us the report. About it. But it should be nice to be able to defend that. Carl, do you know what the 15 for Stockbridge includes? Is that uh, I want to say um, softening in the uh, uh, the hot water in the kitchen. Um, I think there there's some window gaskets. Jim said. I mean, I think I think that you know he had put together that list. Um, so it is a current list. It well. is. It is relatively. It is. It is relatively current. It'd be nice to see both of the lists. Sure. And I think it's important as we're having this conversation, I think what we need to be thinking about just as a board is, are these the things, you know, is, is a number here so so egregious or so so uh, uh, questionable that we need to, uh, you know, uh, uh, do another version, stop and, and try to do this, this, this another time? Or is the number relatively close? So that because the goal tonight is not to produce, you know, a budget narrative and not to have split all the money into all the particular cells uh, 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 completely accurately. The number we need to have is we need to have that, uh, you know, uh, four million whatever it is uh, figure that, that goes on to our goes on to our warning. Some of the and, and I think 
it's important that we're identifying narratives that we need to put together into our stories, but I think it's also- Confirmed, this is an open meeting where lines can be changed, numbers can be changed up sure. on the floor. Mm -hmm. So if it is an open meeting and they're looking at, are they looking at a budget on that, in that open meeting? Are yes. they looking at yes. this? Yes, we they have looking, They've been looking at a book, then, a book that they've been sent and they then, come in with questions. we better have backup for every single line because it is gonna be that. Sure, I think it's important that we that, that we, we identify that, but that we be able to we be able to answer, and I think that's that's what we set ourselves as our task is that we can get behind each number, every number on this. Correct, one. correct. I, I I agree with so that. I understand that you're saying we're trying to get to a general overall number. In that sense, I, I trust the work you did, and I think in the ballpark, I'm looking at things that are gonna you know raise people's hands and make. People right, right, right. I, I but I think I, I, what I was trying to get at is I think the the, the part of what we need to do tonight is. Okay. Say we think this. We, we we believe you, Bonnie. We think this number is good. Give us a detailed explanation so we can defend it. Mm -hmm. Versus, oh no no, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. I'm saying I'm looking at everything. I'm I'm thinking of the annual meeting and I'm thinking of defense of right. this budget. Yeah, and I, but, and I understand. But I also think, think for my own for my own well being, you know, forty nine thousand yeah. dollars. It's it's up there. A lot some of, of the numbers we're at. It's a lot of repairs. And I just think we need to, it's fair to see it's a, a good list, yeah, a good list. In the middle. Yeah. Nancy, Nancy Woolley. Um, Nancy. Do we have a date yet for our annual meeting? Yes. We'll come out of this one tonight. If we if can we, agree on this budget, we will have a date. Tonight. 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 If, we, if you well, don't resolve it tonight, then it will be a different date. Correct. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. Correct. And every date we change gets closer to July 1. You got Correct. it. Well, what, well, just, what is our criteria as a board for accepting this number? Well, I think we set a goal to be under the cap. Okay. I think we set a goal to be able to address our students' educational needs. Okay. Okay, those, those two are the main. Uh, those are the main. It's always good to know what we're doing. Yeah, what are we striving for? Yeah, exactly. Well, I think the other goal is to no. maximize the use of space, to sort of downsize for spaces that, that was another commitment, I think, that yes. the board had made in working on this budget. Right, and we have, and which we have addressed. Equity of education between the two campuses. Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead, Frank. It doesn't matter. I don't know. Joanne and I can do trial by combat. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm um, sorry, you have I'm just curious first. about um, summer support. Is that um, janitorial? What or line? What, 225. Oh, it's 225. That is, yes, you're looking at the buildings and grounds, and, and um, that is. And don't we have the kids in the summer? And don't we have the kids in the summer? We do not have kids in the summer, but we have lawns that need to be mowed. And we have the the so ours don't? Threat. I think, I think also the support for the uh, okay, uh, enough with the looks. The, the Suzuki camp. It's for the Suzuki camp. We're painting the gym this year. The gym is scheduled to be painted this year. Oh, that brings up another point. Are we going to change the name? For the camp and stuff, is the full plan and program paid for that? Or is the line zero at Stockbridge? I think is what she's saying. Correct for summer support. I wonder. Um, if the salaries of the janitor is a year-round salary, or if that, or, or you know, that takes into account the um, camp in the summer. This is just additional help for the custodians. We're cutting down. Somebody to ride the lawnmower. We're cutting down from three custodians to two. We have a lawnmower too. When, I guess we need to get our. I think Francis. I think Francis has summer hours built into his, into it's his schedule. Into that twenty-six thousand dollars, he's got the summer hours built into that. He does. Frank? I, I apologize if you've already uh, spoken about this. But uh, you get talking to Walt Wells and you keep talking. Right? I just, I mean, I, I wanted to compliment David first for laying it out this way. This is very helpful. I mean, looking at the FTEs. I just, uh, I mean, I, and actually I was pleased to see the salaries for the two principals and that, that they're reasonable salaries. Can you just, can you just speak to them? To the principal, uh, to the principal line, line 184. Is that going to refer to uh, Bruce because of you know contract issues and and first and that? So. Well, I don't. I. Um, I'm sorry. I didn't mean this to be a hot potato. Actually, I'd like no, no. Like uh, well, it, it's, we were able to lower these lines because Bonnie is in the retirement system, and therefore she can only 
yeah. make so much money. Uh, we believe that we would hire someone else. Uh, we don't have any idea who that might be, but we yeah. wanted to have enough money in here to be yeah. able to find somebody. Yeah. And we hope that maybe uh, they would move back and forth and, and Bonnie, uh, because of all her experience, would be able to mentor, yeah. Uh, yeah. depending on who we found. Yeah. And so we, we've really put the amount in uh, this to be able to support yeah. um, hiring of someone else as well. Yeah. Um, so that's stay tuned for that. We just started yeah. to advertise for that. Yeah. So okay, thank you. Another hand from. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. I'd like to know again why our janitor doesn't get paid to do the summer grounds work. If he could, we could maybe. I think I think the answer is that. This money in the past has been able to support what's been done for with him in Stockbridge. Don't know whether, I don't think we should crank it up just to crank it up. I mean, I think it reflects what we paid uh, and the way he's worked in the past. It's, so it's been able to support it. So because he hasn't, we just the pay him with 26000 I'm glad this is recording. So we're going to pay our guy 26000 We've got the children there in the summer, and yet, versus 78. Well, that is what your need has been. <coughs> Again, I'm glad this is recorded. That is, if you have a different need, then we need to address that need. We have need. a different need. What is, what, what is I feel that should be looked at by our school board, all of you, because that's ridiculous. To look at the amount of money that the custodian is making? Yeah, I mean, we actually have the children there in the summer program. Like, we right. do. And and so he has to clean for that. So you feel okay. Um, so you've got. So maybe we need to look into. Or and we've got the kids. Well, there's, there's, I, I think there's, there, there, there's an, a, a, an apples and oranges kind of difference in that. I mean, part of the, I mean, there's. I'm not sure where's the revenue from the the Suzuki program show. It's buried in revenue. I don't think it's line item down. Sure David okay. can pull it out. What is the Suzuki program? I've heard it talked about. Yeah, it's this um, huge music program that is a worldwide program that comes to, and it, it like doubles the population in Rochester when they show up. Mm -hmm. um, it is every kid oh, they do they have private is it private lessons mm -hmm. or it's both. It's a camp. It's a camp. It's a that they come summer to. camp for prodigies. <laughs> Well, 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 not, not just kids don't. So no, it's no, a no, camp that kids are That's not true. That's not true. Oh, I'm sorry. Their, their parents come also. Yeah, their parents, parents, the parents come to see. Over town. Suzuki is a program true. where parents work yeah, and, and learn with the child as well. I mean, it sounds like a great program. Oh, it's a great program, and it takes over the school and all the buildings and many of the pianos throughout the community. And they, they bring in, they also the bring in, yeah. the Pierce Hall is used, the church is used. Yeah, the Pierce used. Hall. So like they, <laughs> yeah, yeah, and they bring in, um, they they bring in teachers from all across the country come there. to teach here. It's a, it's a, it's a nationally it recognized wonderful, program. wonderful, yeah. but yeah. again, yeah. but we have the kids every day. Well, summer. I think maybe we need to look into um, <laughs> the, the uh, staffing needs. Uh, for the, the summer camp in Stockbridge and to make sure those staffing needs are being addressed and paid for properly and maybe it is part of the One Planet's um, budget. Maybe it's not part of uh, our school's budget and we should look into that. Well, I mean, I've talked with Janie about this situation in Stockbridge. What's, I'm sorry, what line is that? As well as it's, uh, uh, 225 is where we started. All right, thanks. No, but I think it's reasonable if, to see if we're covering, if we're actually covering the number. Carl says he thinks so. Well, right. I don't think it but should you, be the you know. person that's he, taking care of all these children. I mean, that's a huge job yeah. to have to do that. And then after a long day, clean up. I mean, that's insane. Right. Well, I think that, I, I mean, I think that, again, you're looking at just, just the custodial piece of yeah, that. Yeah. I think that the custodian is not necessarily supervising the kids. But no, I'm saying after the kids leave, you know, after a day of 
ruckus and whatever, <laughs> should that teacher who's been with those children all day, it's, it shouldn't be their responsibility. No, I believe, I believe it's covered by the, you know, I, believe I believe there's hours for, for our custodian. Oh. Uh, and that 26, so it's not in this amount? The $26,000, I think he includes it's that, yes. It's everything he does. Oh, wow. I believe that is his full compensation. He's, uh, It's part time to do that whole building yeah, is part time. With the work he's done with us for that money. Oh yeah, I have nothing to say of that. It just seems like a big job for one person. Yeah, we can show where he was that. Yeah, if, if there's a need, you need to know about it. We're going to be exposed to historical needs, but if there's indication that we need to move forward with more, then we need to entertain How would we know that? Bruce would probably talk to talk with Francis and talk with the one out. talk with the one planet person about the the, the, the needs and what goes on in that talk to the well, your programming is there. Person. I'm wondering, does, does the Rochester person take care of the grounds? Because Francis doesn't yes. take care of the grounds. Yes, yes. they do to the grounds. Yeah. We have all the fields out back. And yeah, because so we have somebody else who takes care of the grounds. Right, that's the contract. Francis service. takes care of the building. Right, and we've had a conversation that we would like to look into, which is going to be a better bang for our buck to get a contractor to come in and do all the mowing and, and, yeah. and everything, maybe at the old school. Like, yeah. We're, we're trying Does to really yeah, yeah, I, well, I'm thinking that's why his is lower, is because he doesn't, he doesn't do, do that. Right. And the building. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we want he him to be focused building. inside, not necessarily yeah. worrying about the grounds. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead, Leslie. <laughs> um, and I think this has been addressed before, but Line 186, yeah. um, did we hire her? Her, We had talked about, we added more days and we're going to add to her um, her income. I didn't know if that was the added Yes, income. we did. We oh. added yes. 10 days to her. Right. Yeah. I didn't know if that, because I don't have yes. paper with it. Uh, I'm sorry, I might have answered that incorrectly. I don't, I'm not sure if we gave her a raise, but she did get. She can still work more hours. Correct. And, and, and get paid time. from and get paid for those those days. And they raise. It's the same amount. You've got to understand. Here. There's the a support amount. staff contract that has been negotiated, and when that's finally implemented, which will be July one, there will be an, an increase for uh, all the all the staff, all the support right. staff. We don't. So that's it's great. not a question of. As long as it's in proportion, that's all. Well, this is something we negotiated for 18 days to try to get to, and all of them will be lifted, so. So we're adding 10 days to the Stockbridge admin, but no increase in salary? That we are, the, well, it, it should be 10 more days, it should be 80 more hours at your hourly rate. Work. And there will also be an increase of the salary because Should of the negotiated contract. We did. This is the same salary. It's the same number. That's what I'm looking at. Well, yeah, I, I saw okay. in, do you have those boxes around your numbers anymore of what, what, how it got calculated? The 10, 10 extra days. That 10 extra days for the uh, uh, administrative assistance in Stockbridge? Certainly not go right and not go back and compare it to. Uh, I did not compare, but I do remember while we were there, we saw um, the box and yeah, right, right. I calculated it out. It's a thousand eighty-three dollars, roughly. Okay. I just I don't have my old paper. And it was the same as. March 22nd. I don't know when we added it in. We did add it in by the, the, on that day, by that date, before that date. <laughs> okay. Um, so, uh, how does this budget budget reflect education priorities for the two schools? I mean, you say we're meeting that or. March 8th, it was still the same. When did we add it in? Um, maybe David can take a look. David? Um, We're just verifying that increase in the um, salary for the administrative assistant for Stockbridge. We want to make sure that, I guess the question is maybe when it got added in or just to verify that. It is added in. It, that it is added in. It's about $1,000 more. Dollars. All right, it's about that. But the idea of a raise like is going to be taken care of by the support staff. Right, right, right. We're talking about the extra days, though, Bruce. Right. Jenny's saying that the number hasn't changed since March. 
So if, the, if 10 more days had been added, there should have been the extra thousand dollars. You know, a thousand some dollars in there. For line 55, this is Title I, General Ed Instruction and Remedial. I'm not sure Ethan's question was answered. Was it oh, it it's only the matter of how our children being educated. It's not a big one. Well, as, as, as well, well, I, I understand the things we're talking about, but we are, and even I'm looking at, you know, the maintenance budgets and numbers here and numbers yeah, there. Yeah. We're looking at visuals. Right. As opposed to, and this is Jamie's point. Um, well, start. Think that, 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 uh, how does this budget, think. How, does it, well, how does this budget reflect educational education in the two schools? Yeah, I think that Carl, that's the bottom line. Carl started off with that. This, <coughs> this doubles music in Stockbridge. It, it takes a music teacher and spreads them over both, both districts. But it doubles the amount of time in Stockbridge for music. Okay. It it uh, doubles the amount of guidance in Stockbridge. Guidance. It, what now? Point it's two. It's point two, and it's going to point four. Um, um, I don't. I don't. Math was a big issue. It, it, it increases math by half a day. In Stockbridge. Uh, yeah. In Stockbridge. Half a day per week. Is that week yes. Per week. Yes. Yes. It, yeah, it was. A, it went from a point eight. Um, So Donna Gowan is, is broken into about three different parts. Mm -hmm. She does library, she does math, and then she does a remedial section. And we, we pumped up her, her FTEs by half a day. So that, that's something else. We also uh, uh, doubled the amount of nursing time. Um, the nurse was on call, but now the nurse will be in Stockbridge two days a week instead of one day a week. We'll also be here uh, three days a week. So that that increase to give more equity to that split. Now I'm missing something. There's besides uh, let me interrupt. besides Donna, is there any more interventionist time in now, the Now we talked about we talked well, some of the teachers have talked to me about wanting more intervention this time. Sorry, and they also teachers define that for me. Um, a person to work with students who have been. Uh, Having difficulties. difficulties because of one what on one. been found on uh, star testing that they need to catch up. Okay. Um, so they came to me with a, a plan. This is when we were talking about the facilities expansion and having a temporary building. Mm -hmm. And they and, and I don't know whether Donna was speaking for the rest of the staff, but she certainly said, you know, it'd be really nice if we could get foreign language uh, <coughs> time and also do an interventionist part time. But I guess I, I, this is for the board to decide whether you want to go there. Uh, certainly Rochester doesn't have foreign language either. So we probably to, to be equitable, we probably ought to think about how that might benefit both campuses. And the interventionist thing, I'd love to see that. I just don't know whether we can afford it this year. Uh, there's a lot of intervention or there is some intervention being done in the buildings anyway. Uh, you've got uh, Title I folks, you've got uh, Donna's uh, FTEs and math have been uh, pushed up a little bit. Um, I'd love Title to see more. Well, it does, well, we don't know. Yeah, it's <laughs> it's we think it might be. Because I know we've, we've, we've talked about foreign language for a bit, and we've never really seen a number about that. We and I heard. really think it's essential. I mean, our kids are well, going to Middlebury and Woodstock. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. I just don't think it's something that we can do year one. But I think I like do, do year one, but I think it's something we should be looking at and really would it be, would it be nice? have hit the ground running for year two. Can, can, we, can, 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 we, can I just finish here? I mean, I understand. I'm not trying to blow this budget up. I'm just getting to the priorities. I and mean, I, I just, because I, Danny's made this a real priority is that this is what we should be talking about. You know, that the other things are, you know, apples and oranges or whatever between the two buildings and the two campuses, but that this is really the heart and soul of it. Um, uh, we've never, we haven't ever seen a number so that we know what an even point two language person, you know, half a day of language, a day of language, something like that would, would mean. Um, so I'm just, I don't know how serious you guys are in looking at that, so we yes. haven't brought you a number, but we certainly could. Yeah. Can I just get, can we, I mean, if we can't do it this year, I'd like to see a, the number for yeah. an interventionist and a second language teacher um, for a year two. 
year too. Something that we're working <coughs> on the next year. Yeah, that'd be, budget, I mean, shaving it down, and getting it for you. So they should, it, it'd be nice to start doing <coughs> things that we have, or start yeah. looking for next year's budget now. We should. That we have numbers and places and FICA and all that kind of stuff projected so that we have some idea of once we know this system better. And obviously, we know this is the first budget and we're trying to get it down. But, but these are priorities for us. Yeah. Um, is my, there my, money? my son had Spanish in you know preschool for three weeks last year, and then the woman realized it was too much for everything they were throwing at her and stopped. And it was and he came home every day with it. And it really you know I think it's it's, it's one of these things these days. We I think we talked about mission statement too. That it's mm -hmm. an internet. We have a world student or something like that in our mission statement. So I think. It, no question that it's it's a it should be a priority. At least for me, I feel very strongly. Oh yeah, I do too. And Especially uh, since uh, they're going to school, like Middlebury and Woodstock, where, where the kids start in kindergarten. Where people are doing it very early. <laughs> and, 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 and and Megan, yeah. you mentioned it in terms of you know tuition and drawing kids in from handcuff. I've literally had a, a a Granville parent at a birthday party in Warren tell me ask me about our programming, and the one thing she asked was, do you guys have foreign language? Mm. And I go, well, not right now, but we're hoping in our merger in year two that we're going to be able to. I really think that's we're losing our students from Pittsfield. We're losing our students from Granville and Hancock because, unfortunately, we're not <coughs> unionized with a larger school that can provide all those services because the budget's spread out over many towns. So what we're trying to do is very difficult, but I do think in the next year, by looking at these budgets, identifying our priorities, we will get there. I just think that we do need to know those costs, but I just don't think it's going to happen tonight. I just think it's where we need to be identifying what other, why our kids in our valleys are leaving our community schools, dissipating the community spirit of our entire valley. And I just think that if we can identify those needs, start to advertise properly, bring in the parents and the kids from the college, <coughs> a lot of principals bring in and extend invitations to tuition in town to get their families into our schools. I think if we can work on these goals, that we will get those students. Not all of them, but some of them. I think, I think it's good for our valley and it's good for our schools. Well, there's four things that parents have spoken to me about who are trying to decide if they're leaving this year. We do have tuition students who are, who are thinking they won't be here next year. They're they talk about a second language that comes up pretty quickly. A quality after school daycare program because young these are primarily working parents and they need to have <coughs> Are they looking for daycare age or school age? School age, yeah. school age, after school programs. Um, music beginning earlier, they're looking for music starting in third and fourth grade, which is more and more schools are, are expanding into. Um, I guess there were only three. There's, there's primarily those three. Is, is there money in here for curricula? Uh, like if you look at a, a, a reading program, a structured reading program, a structured math program, is there? Is there things for instructional tools? Anything for curriculum? Well, I get confused when we start yeah, talking about curriculum because we have a curriculum coordinator at the SU. And and how I mean, like books, like, like, from what I understand, oh, like, no real structured reading program in either school continuous from for kindergarten, I believe, but from kindergarten to six. What if we, one of the things we decide is, we want to do a tier thing with kids, multi-age, and a structured reading program. Is there money in the budget to, to buy books? To buy books. books. There is not enough money in there to buy a reading program K through six. There's some money in there, and one of the things I hope to do with the Rochester board is because the current Rochester board, we look like we're having a uh, surplus at the end of the year. Teachers told me that they were prepared to buy um, a, a writing program and some reading materials. Last year, <coughs> we were told in September that that was something they could not do, so they didn't order it. So we're hoping to get the, some of those materials out of the surplus from this year, Jamie. I would like to have that that a structured line item in a budget from now on. I mean, if you can't do it, the yeah, curriculum. curriculum. So, so when you say curriculum, that means curriculum. Tools? Is it really sort of yeah, curriculum tools? Yeah, instructional tools. tools. Instructional tools. It's, it's not curriculum development, it's yes. curriculum tools. Yeah, and that would be different than the supplies and periodical books and periodicals. What's line 156 then, Bruce? What line? Sorry. How much would those, I mean, that seems like it should be priority number one. Well, yeah. 
yeah, that's... So how much does those, do those things cost? So do we have any idea what the expenses of these 10 Well, you could kind on of, a, on a kindergarten to sixth grade reading program, if you wanted to, you know, do the whole thing, you could easily spend twelve, fifteen thousand dollars $15,000 getting all those materials. Well, that I, seems like with, a priority. With the professional yeah. development. I, I think, Joanna, this is something that it, it's not if we look at this, it is a when, because I think our teachers need to sit down. We need to go over the research right. and what's well, best practice. Get the right place. What programs work. So I yeah. think it's going it, we, we well, to be. Well, we want to pick the right program. Right. We want to pick the right program. And that means you have to look at the evidence and the data in order to do that, not just. Hey, doesn't this throw a number at, throw picture. money at it and yeah. say we so can do this. Yeah. So we're, we're making, a, we're making um, a list of what we want on the budget for next right. year. Right. Well, but <laughs> what, is, <laughs> I, 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 uh, what is line 156 that says curriculum, uh, improvement of instruction dash curriculum? This is the work, I believe, that goes on with Mary Ellen Simmons and uh, Rock, Rochester and Stockbridge's portion of uh, Proficiency work that they're doing and and, uh, and other things. It's fifteen thousand dollars. Curriculum development coordinator at the SU. Mary Ellen Simmons is our curriculum, like curriculum, curriculum coordinator, coordinator for the okay. SU, and she is and Shirley Ferguson are are working with the Rochester and Stockbridge teachers on proficiency. So so, so this nine thousand dollars is not driven by our, our administration. This nine thousand dollars is our share of a program that the SU is passing down to us. Around uh, around proficiencies or, or whatever. I see fifteen thousand dollars there. Line one fifty six. One sixty. Okay, no. that's tuition reimbursement for for training. I was looking at one fifty six. One fifty five. Yeah, nine thousand three for uh, for improvement uh, instruction. David, could you confirm that line one fifty five is an SU assessment? One fifty five. Ideally, the way that should work is the yes, curriculum yes. director yes. should work yes. with the teachers. That is an assessment. Good. He just verified that. That's an SU assessment. Right. Ideally, right. to follow up on, on Janie's point, that the curriculum director for, let's say, for example, language arts in the district, should work with the Stockbridge and Rochester teachers on looking at the data. Yeah. What do our kids need? What are evidence-based programs? <coughs> Janie said not just programs with pretty pictures. Sometimes teachers pick programs for other reasons that are just as unrelated to student achievement. We really need to look at the two or three evidence-based programs and say, this is the one we're going to commit to for the next three to five years. We're not going to jump right, ship. But there's, right, I, I was trying to get a handle on, because we, you know, you were talking about curriculum, and there, right. there is a, a line item that directly assesses us for improvement of instruction dash curriculum. Right. And I was trying to understand if that was money that was for our administration to use as it saw fit, or if that was a program, that was our share of a, of a program for the ESU. Bigger, and that's, that's, what the, that, that's our share of a program. Yeah, yeah. I, I think in the past, people, schools have acted pretty much on their own to adopt series and, and decide on what they want. And sure. I'm trying to get away from them and, and try to move together on some things. It's also in the statute, if you look at the statute, it says that the ASU budget will provide curriculum and many other services. So the things that people don't like the supervisor union to do, it's often the things that are in statute that are required to be done. So I think it's important to understand the context in which we work. And it's not Bruce sitting there saying, I think we'll grab some more of the, of the voters' money from Stockbridge. There's a requirement in the statute, and I think the board should be aware of what that right, is. Right, right. I, I'm just trying to understand, again, we've often had money for some curricular flexibility when, uh, you know, there, when it's Getting support, uh, local support, much like we have uh, that 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 six thousand dollars that was previously uh, indicated as being special support for Rochester for their uh, or, or for the, the district for the the Star 360 data coaching, for example. That's not a curriculum in initiative. You said that's only in, in, in our district, and that's what I, I was trying to find out if the line two lines above it for uh, curricular improvement was also uh, just in our district and money we could we could. Uh, deploy as we saw fit, or if that was money that, that uh, was already deployed on our behalf. And the answer is it's been deployed on our behalf, if I'm correct. And I think as our two campuses come together, teachers would welcome an opportunity to get together around curriculum. And they would, they yeah. would, there's huge benefits to doing it collaboratively. Yeah. When something works, you celebrate it together. When something doesn't work, you sit down and figure out why is it that this group of youngsters is not progressing the way that we'd like them to progress. So I think so, I think we're right for doing that work next year. Um, I would, I mean, I'm, I'm totally
torn because you know, we're, we're very close and we've already extended in several weeks. But it feels like, in some ways, we're actually now talking about some of our heart and soul issues. And we now sort of understand some of the trades we're talking about. Um, one would hate to say it, but you know, I support the full music and the selection, but if it's, are we talking music versus language? And what's the weight on the scale there of music versus language? Or music versus intervention? And I think that's the kind of thing we have to look at. Um, and maybe, maybe Carl, you say, maybe that's, maybe that's after we've got the hall and the, the single number done, and if that's it, fine. If that's something we can, you know, what is it, borrow? I think we have <laughs> to church one, God, uh, I yes. love all this. I think that but we can't change everything this no, next no, no, year. I think we need to no, no, kind no. of go forward with this conversation yeah. and, and, and get this right. Like, I want this curriculum that they're talking about, but I don't want to just jump in and get the wrong one. No, I want my teachers but, but to I, talk. But I do think that this, one of the things we can talk about is, 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 is music worth second language. I think that is right today. What well, what second about? language would you go for? What second uh, language would you go for? But, 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 Amy, I, but do you understand uh, my point is that I do think that is that is germane to this budget. And it I don't, is. In, I don't the, in, the, in the, in the, in the, you know, people are going to ask us a lot about that. And I'm just saying, well, and, and Carl laid it out very nicely, what we did decide for. I'm also, you know, this is a crash course in budgeting, what we've gone through. I've gone it through is. the last three months. And so I'm now starting to understand that it isn't just about let's get to the last number. That it is about big decisions that we're making, that, that, and these are the really profound decisions, which are the ones that affect our children and what they're actually getting day to day in the classroom. And Not I, so much I don't about remember exactly, but I believe in both of our community surveys, I believe STEM and I think foreign language was another one that yeah. was on there that people were interested in. I don't think we should go back and take a look at our surveys to really identify. Well, and stop uh, and as that, teachers that, have I'll, said, they don't want more art. Yeah. They want intervention. Yeah. They don't want more art. Don't they're not getting art. any more art. Well, well we they don't, if, if there was a choice, oh, yeah. but they music want has, the intervention. such a good... I think what I drives know. this whole discussion is really student achievement. I think the right. board needs to... Yeah. I think you might be surprised if you looked at our achievement, student achievement results. So I think it starts out with looking at student achievement <coughs> and then the board setting some very clear goals mm -hmm. for what they want, Bruce, myself, the other principals in the district, the teachers, to build into a budget. Because a budget is only mm -hmm. the implementation of your philosophy. Yeah. That's all it is. And, and we barely had a chance to even exactly. think about philosophy. So, right. It's all I, been numbers, numbers, and because you have to get a budget adopted so the schools can operate. Exactly, exactly. But I think it's never too early. I don't think spring is too early for the board to start looking at your surveys, as Jamie said, and or Jenny said, I'm sorry. Start looking at your surveys. Start pulling out what are our goals next year. Because if you yeah. really want STEM and you really want second language and you really want to stay under the excessive spending cap, and we only have 100 and then say we have 20 kids, then something that. has to it's go. We need to identify our priorities. Exactly. Guys, what do we know about the Newton School? I have no idea what it looks like. All I know is that they have high student achievement. If I know about the school in Norwich, again, I have no idea about anything well, except that they have high student achievement. If we can get that, then the student schools of choice will come to us. Yeah, I think I think what you should plan on doing is have a retreat in the spring and you begin to talk about all these ideas and how can we do this, what's, what's most important uh, to you, uh, and I think you need some time mm -hmm. with, with each other and with the community to try so to figure it out. Getting um, through this. Well, I mean, I, yeah. don't, don't discount, we're operating on, on, and I hate to keep saying this, but the strategic plan we developed, and that's got an awful lot of good philosophy things in it about where we should be going as a system um, and so I would say you know that should be one of your resources that you're having these conversations mm -hmm. because there's an awful lot in it and um, but I think it's healthy you have to keep talking about student achievement and education uh, for the kids and and not get I know you have to worry about boilers and and plumbing and <coughs> like that but 
we should be having a discussion every time you meet about student achievement. Absolutely. And, it's and I think that's what I'm sort of waking up, and it's from your emails, Janie, that you've been pushing this so much that it finally sort of hit me tonight. And maybe it's just an education moment that doesn't have to affect our numbers at all right now tonight, and we can go forward. But I really, it, it's like, ding, I get it now. You know, I, I get that that's what we need to be talking Effective about. boards have discussions about student achievement and instruction yes. all the time. Every meeting. I read in the Randolph Herald that Newton gets, they get the report, the school board gets the report of the STARS 360 every time it's given. They get well, one thing, what it was you know, we can do that. <laughs> And it's been done here before. It just hasn't been done before. How are we to know? <laughs> It was in the newspaper because they publicized it. Well, I know, but how, because how, their scores are so good. Yeah. Well, I think so. So we're 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 we're, we're learning. I mean, you know, yeah. some of you have been doing this for a while, but many of us are, are, are brand new to this process, and uh, this is how how we learn. Part of Newton's success has been um, a very very well vetted uh, writing program that they've had for a number of years. A lot of writing instruction and workshops with their teachers. And that filters right on down to the kids and the way they write every day. Uh, and that is one of the uh, really important things when you're testing, even math testing, if you can't read the problems and, yeah. and come up with some kind of logical uh, way of, of figuring it out. Um, you know, if you don't have the writing skills, it's a real big indicator of whether you're going to be successful academically later on. So that is one of the things that Newton has done for a long, long time. And everybody, everybody works on it. What do they do, writing workshops? Uh, they had a, a, one of the uh, facilitators lived in town, and she, uh, two of them actually spent eons of time uh, with their teachers. So everybody that comes there learns the techniques, um, and it's very well ingrained. And it's been going on for 15, 20 years or so. Uh, and they also have a community of, of folks, uh, you know, that work at Dartmouth, and and it's a, you know, the community, those folks, you know, come, they take their kids to museums, and I don't want to sound like I'm yeah, but that make here, a difference. but that's, you know, that, that we, the kids get a lot of exposure to, uh, you know, worldly things, and, and uh, it's, you know, they do well, the kids do real well. Um, that shouldn't well, make so a Carl, difference, I'm, and we can't make a, 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 a couple things. Yeah. First of all, I want to loop back. Jenny, uh, Jenny brought up the the, the 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 point that it didn't look like uh, uh, the salary of, of uh, the office assistant in uh, Stockbridge had changed. I went back through old budgets; it has not. As of uh, the, this money that was added, it was still the the the, the thousand dollars or whatever thousand eighty six. You said, yeah, right. that was rough though. That was, but the, the the money is not shown in the in the in the budget. It's the, it's the that number is the same number as it was uh, over a month ago. <coughs> I went, I, yeah, I, I paged back through some uh, uh, doing that. The, the other point I would think, I mean, I'll, I'll go back to what I asked. What's that? Okay, so you have changed it. Good. Thank you. Um, the other piece that you know, thousand dollars when we talked at, when we talked about um, like increasing a, a, a guidance and increasing a music at Stockbridge, the question was: was there, you know, would the schedule allow it? Was there was there was there time and, 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 and purpose in, in doing that? And would it be beneficial? And the the, the, the discussion was was yeah. I wonder. I mean, just off the top of your head, if you said. We found the thirty thousand dollars to hire a, a, a point four um, a foreign language person. Could we put that into the schools? I mean, is that something that, that even at this at this date there would be there would be the, the ability to plan for? I mean, or do we need to have a planful cycle to say here's how it's going to be and here's how how language is going to fit in with with things? Because I always worry that every special you add takes away from from general education, and I, I don't know what's been been done in planning the daily schedule, the weekly schedule, and so on. I'm not, you know, is is, is this even something that, that, that could be done effectively for well, this next year? If it's done in other schools, then I'm sure we could figure well, out how to work it in. As far as the schedule goes, um, that Mary Ellen Simmons, our curriculum person, and um, and Shirley are talking with the teachers there, or that's the plan, basically, to work on that schedule. 
they had a three different renditions of the schedule at Stockbridge, and they're looking at you know trying to work it out so that the new we'll things that were and Rochester as well. I, well, I don't know. I we, don't have the extra, we don't have the extra person to do the math, so we'd be looking at different schedules. Right, but I mean, I mean, you know, so the, the, the question was brought up and no, saying, well, is point. it, you know, really it, could we have, could we have a, world, a world language program that says something our community's value? What I am asking is, assume we find the money. Mm -hmm. You know, we don't have to worry about, uh, you know, we, 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 we get a teacher for free. We win, we win a teacher in the lottery. <laughs> um, could we, I mean, is that something that could be integrated and done, or would it, would it, I mean, well, I would like the, I would like to jump at the opportunity to do to do a second language. I think, however, if we're going to do it and do it well, we need to have a bit more time to plan because second language it needs to be a whole part of what's going on. In the Everything school. I've it seen can't about just be thirty minutes twice oh, a week. It's right, not right. Work. Everything I've seen about so the world language instruction be at elementary school, school it's, it's 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 holistically integrated into. Everything so that one day they may be getting a math line, a math language in Spanish, exactly, and the next day they may be ordering food in the cafeteria in Spanish, or just doing things, and there's kind of it's more immersive. And I question whether we could, you know, if, if we could, even if we could find it in the budget tonight, would that be something that we would actually implement well next year, I or would it so. be? My initial response would be we would do it better if we took a year to plan it. So I don't think we would do it horribly, but I don't think we would do it as well as we would. Well, we have and, new ones coming in. And oh, by the way, it's new kids are hard in. to find. So especially, See, I think when we're especially ready if you're doing two days a week, right. you know. I was going to say, I, on trees. I think what is the, it's a regular <laughs> qualification that you need to be a foreign language teacher. There did not there used to be license. any certification in Vermont. I is there one in the ELA license now? There didn't used to have to be. I think there's licensure now. Has it changed? I have a little idea, so I'd like to talk to you another time about that. But as Bruce said, folks, foreign, second language teachers are hard to find. So if we were ready to do it, we need to do it on both campuses. Yes, we do. Um, yeah. And try and make it a full-time position. It's used well. So basically the answer is let's, let's make that another goal. Sharon and, and uh, uh, Stratford are trying to hire them now together. So. Are they finding applicants? Uh, I think uh, I think they have one, um, but there were only uh, but there were only I think there were only three applicants in Maine, so it's and they've been out looking for a month, so. And it may be a little outside of the box for us, but there's a number of school districts who are hiring bilingual teachers as their teachers. Wow. Right. They're not just hiring <coughs> teachers to that's teach Spanish, they're thing. hiring bilingual well, teachers. Well, that's why we had Spanish before. <laughs> Because one of our high school yeah. teachers was, he's actually still available. Uh, he might be available, uh, but not full time. <laughs> he does more in Spanish. So. Mm -hmm. Good. Okay. Well, I think that is. This is. We've come up with some two goals. I think we have for sure that we want. clear goals to try to hash out over the next year. Is, well, there, is, more, is there a mm -hmm. program? Is there it's a miracle. structured writing program in mm -hmm. Rochester Elementary? And there isn't in Stockbridge. That's what we're hoping to buy with title of funds this year. See, so that we neither of this, what is so critical, and, and writing is critical in terms of the reading writing scenario, and neither of our schools has a writing program nor a reading program. Is there a spelling program? Nope. Not, 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 not a spelling. Either. Now, just to be clear, youngsters are taught reading. They're taught <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand. I just want to make sure Well, the after-school program. Well, wasn't it approved? The shed was actually changed into the sound panels. 
Carl with the sound panels? Yes, yes, we put the sound panels um, due to discussion with. What um, line is that in? That is in. Is it with discussions with the teachers? They yeah, said right, that they that would prefer. There. Right. Yeah. So. Let me find the budget. Here's the, you know, here's here's where here's where we're at. Um. One of the things that that that, that David uh, uh, brought me up to speed on was that um, we have to if 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 you're going to bond something, it has to be warned. And you can't, you can't, you can't decide you're going to bond something from the floor. Um, so, but what David pointed out was that you, um, there, there's, there's municipal lease agreements, like, like for a bus, that you don't have to, you, you, you don't have to, to, to bond, so it doesn't have to be warned. What we'd like to do, because there's, there's people that have said, let's just build onto that building. Let's, let's, let's just build. Let's 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 do some brick and mortar work and do that, and let's not just throw it throw a trailer in the back of the parking lot to get something there for next year. Donna Gallant in particular was saying, let's put in some sound panels, let's 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 improve the acoustics of that building, and let's do that. So what's happened like in the cafeteria, throwing some. Right, I think up around the uh, to try to uh, panels that go up around that that mezzanine or that. Yep. She sent she sent some pictures out of what they look like. And too. again, um, if we're now you know as we go forward, we're talking about. Other, we, you know, a foreign language in that type of space that might have a different need than a, a trailer. Space. Right. We have one space. We have right. one, one room. Right, right. But the, 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 the thinking is is that we would rather fix our one room. We would, we would rather fix that, and we would rather go forward with looking at. Uh, uh, Barbara had started doing some architectural drawings, or, or got. Uh, what's the guy in Pittsfield? Carl. Um, uh, you know the the. the might be, yeah, I think it, I think it was someone from Carl Williams' team that did some preliminary. Uh, we we spent a thousand dollars or so, fifteen hundred dollars last year to do some preliminary <coughs> general drawings. What I think we'd like to do is, you know, get those, look at them, and 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 try to start having that conversation because I, I don't. The, the general feeling, like, I kind of agree with it. Do you, would you rather have a, have, a, have a trailer next week, or would you rather build the build out and add a couple of permanent classrooms to the, to, to, to the building? You know my answer, Carl. <laughs> well, I don't. Well, a lot of the teachers um, had expressed. Yeah, don't. <laughs> don't build anything. Save all the money. You know my answer. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you all do. So yes, the, the 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 upshot is is that we're fixing the space that we have, and we're looking at uh, uh, moving towards getting plans for a more a more permanent expansion to have some space in that building to do things in more than just that one room. Will we get the acoustical tiles? Yes, yes those are okay. in the budget. Yeah, that's uh, two two thirty six. Was it? Uh, no. Oh shoot. Yes, two two thirty five. <laughs> No, that's one of the Oh, it went to 236. Yeah. Um, and again, we okay. have to remember this is the first year, and we are going to move forward with what we need to get together and figure out what we both value and where we want our kids to go and what we want to do. And we're going to continue to make steps to make improvements. You know, I want Stockbridge to have more space. I think you're overcrowded. You know, let's figure out how we can get you more space. But let's not just make a knee-jerk reaction. Let's take time to look at it and to really evaluate what we have, what we can use. Carl and I sat and talked about what, what kind of technology that maybe is in this high school we can we can reacquisition to our elementary school, to the Southbridge Elementary School, so we don't maybe have to buy brand new stuff if we have some stuff that works. I mean, it's share with Stockbridge. Well, no, we are, we're, taking, we're taking the, this taking budget. This budget has all the equipment that's in this. This building. budget, right? This budget has this equipment to technology to run yeah. to viewers, projectors. There's something like what six, ten projectors in this school. Right. right. No, there's there. This this budget has money to put a spark to take to take smart boards out of this wing of the Rochester High School and make sure every elementary classroom in the Rochester side and in the Stockbridge side has a, <coughs> has a smart board in it. I think we've got two in Stockbridge. I think we so we'd be filling that filling the uh, the rest of the rest of those classrooms out, 
I'm not sure how many of the elementary classrooms have smart boards in them now. Every, all of them do, but two are not working, so. Right, so that, 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 that must have been what, what Mark was saying. Right. But the asset, I mean, we, we can just, we, we, we put in money for the electrician to wire them. We took out money for the, there originally was his recommendation was some kind of mobile touch screen, like flat screen TV uh, that could be rolled around from classroom to classroom. And we felt that it was better to use uh, the, the, the suggestion was to use the existing smart boards that are in the high school and move them into the elementary room so that every room has them. You don't have to roll something around from right. place to place. And again, this is just the first year. We're right. going to come up there's with a, some. There's another card. Of, there's there's, there's uh, the middle school. The, the, the middle school. The middle school uh, Chromebooks are moving to the Rochester Elementary School. Stockbridge is getting uh, a new card of, 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 of Chromebooks. Right. Because the laptops in, in, in Stockbridge, you know, are old. So we've, right. we've looked at getting 30 new Chromebooks. We've looked at improving, I, I, improving the, you know, the if, infrastructure, you know, around the building. And again, we can we we don't have to bond if we if we decide we want to do a modular classroom, and there'll be a presentation on that at the meeting. We don't have to bond it. We can do that. We could we could do that right away from the floor. It doesn't have to be since it doesn't have to be bonded. It doesn't have to be warned. So the, the, the people can weigh in, and we can we can we can talk about that at the annual meeting. We just don't have to make a decision about it tonight. So speaking of tonight, um, are we? Yes. Can we oh, see sorry. where where we came in with the ch changes? So we go to our sheet on the back here. So this doesn't really. It, we're good. We didn't change anything. Oh, I see. Yes, it changed uh, by uh, that 2000. Tax rate because we were above. Right. Limited by the 5% increase. So, yep. so the two students are not Preliminary equalized tax rate from what we had before. But we're still Sorry. above the allowable of the range. So it effectively means we, we must still pay the same tax rate. Of a dollar 70, 78. It doesn't change the tax rate because the, 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 the right. is about the five percent. Right. Was about the five percent. And, you, you, and you, we, so we, we've adjusted the, the, the SAP number. We made sure that we had that other seventh grader. We changed. So we added the. I didn't hear dollars. you say the seventh grader. You want to add the seventh another seventh grader? You think if there's six seventh, if there's how many seventh graders there? Does that change our percentage? There was six. I thought there was five. We had one. We had a, we had a lengthy discussion at the last meeting, and it was decided to leave to leave it out. Do you want to change that now and bring it back in? Uh, you know, as Bonnie said, well, we, we're going to have students come and, you know, come and go in Rochester as well. So, well, that one student would put Stockbridge over the cap, and I don't <laughs> think that there's important. very many other ones coming and going. And would that one? Well, no, but if we have, if we have a, well, let's find out. If we have students that are leaving. Then I've we would, heard that one student might be leaving, but I don't know. And you well, never know. Right. People it's change their mind all the time. And it's the best guess, isn't it? Yeah. I don't know where the student is going to leave. Yeah. Okay, you wait. Well, I mean, it's the best. She's going to the state. He would be going to Woodstock. He's going to what? I thought she was going to Kayway. He is going to Woodstock. She is going to Kayway. Okay. So it's a seventh grader at Woodstock. Again, I think that the okay, so it still keeps us under the cap, though. <coughs> For both. For both. Yes, because we're together. I know we're getting short. So they have to both get taxes.
Could you go and to the revenue? Um, then that would show the equalized spending per pupil per campus to make sure that we are both still under the cap by increasing that um, one. Already before you add it? After adding a stock bridge would be above the cap.
you know, I think. Well, what I do think happens is that we, we finish up the meeting and then, you know, and then my point of view, but then, then there's email comments afterwards right. about things we talked about in the meeting that makes me feel like that maybe some people weren't quite in agreement with where we went. And so I'm just trying to make sure that we're, we're moving forward as a group and not by who's, you know, I raise my hand a lot, right. I talk a lot, so maybe Wait, what? a lot, but so I, I just want to be clear on what our process is. Yes, and I think that, you know, it, it, it's, I mean, generally it's a, it's, a, it's a straight parliamentary process. You know, we, we have an issue, we, 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 we take an action on it or we don't take an action on it. I think in, 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 in squishier situations like this where you're kind of trying to talk something through and sort of herd the cats towards, towards a particular place, the, 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 the process becomes more nebulous. And I think it's important to clarify, for example, that this budget is built assuming that that one zone is, is being heated in the high school. We're, we're not, you know, that's that, that, that all the details of that and what the savings are haven't been, been worked out. So I, I think my point is, is that sometimes we, 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 we confuse a statement like the budget is made expecting this with okay that means we're going to do that mm -hmm. you know and I think there's that I think I, I think there's 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 that part of it you know um, that I mean I think don't get me wrong everybody else is fine with this you know the way the decisions made I just uh, I just I just hear Joanne's point that it wasn't a clear decision that we were going with one zone it obviously was at the SU. Because well, that's where the well, started. It was, it was, where it, it, it happened somewhere, and I'm, I'm, right. I'm not exactly sure. And you didn't sure. even realize. Well, I, I mean, I had a, I had a, I had a guess, but I wasn't, because I saw a picture, and I saw the logic thing, and then it went from there. Right. And and why you, you and I chatted about, like, the getting the art room on the other well, side. Well, yeah. Like that. And it, but it, but I, I guess that's, that's the kind of thing that it's just, I, I want to make sure I know when I'm making a decision. And work so that so that so that and, and so that everybody else knows when we're making a decision about something. Right. So that it's just right. clean. Because it's clean, clean and it's, it's good not for clean. it's good it's for the not people. Clean. Yeah. We've toured the elementary, which is double the size of our elementary school. Well, I thought maybe the decision would be made last after the tour because it was even on the um, the list of things to talk about. It was never talked about. It was skipped. Completely. It's done now. Obviously, you've decided. Well, no, we, 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 we've got a budget that, that you know, has, has it. But when did that get decided? Um, it gets decided when the budget gets passed or not passed. But we've gone through all the numbers of using a zone in this building. Mm -hmm. And that was never questioned. So obviously, that's that's kind of not fair to the voters in Stockbridge, I don't think. It was Oops. never discussed in public. And when we heard, when we were offered this idea back in August, September, whenever it was, mm -hmm. that was written in there. Yes, Jenny right. even read it. Yes, yeah, that, that, was, that was the, 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 so the previous Rochester's principal said very, very clearly that she thought uh, she thought that you could you could run you could run the elementary school in, in, in just that building. And when we the current Rochester building, principal says different. And when we toured that building, I got the sense that all three of the Stockbridge um, board members felt that it absolutely is adequate. All of you were making comments about that. So we, when did that change? The elementary building is bigger than yours. It's we know huge. that it just is the way it is, though. It's not that I built it and, and you built no, the Stockbridge. No, but I mean, you have so much room. So actually, your question is very specifically directed to the Stockbridge board. Yeah, I, I do agree that the Rochester is twice as big as Stockbridge, and that that the Rochester Elementary free range could fit into the Rochester Elementary. I think for year one, I don't think that we have enough time to do that. Um, I think that if Bonnie talked about, you know, there may be Hancock Granville students that leave, I think if Rochester doesn't get that four hundred thousand dollars in revenue, then this th that zone is gonna have to close because they're not going to afford it. Has anybody I agree with looked at it now? I right. think this is a question not if but when. I think that we don't have enough time right, so to why? see how to reconfigure
figure because it comes in below the cap. Well, Joe, it's right. Let him, let him, sorry, please let him second. speak. Yeah, let him, let him speak. This is the first. This is what you asked for. Because we are coming in below the cap, mm -hmm. and I do believe that this first year, I don't want to lose the tuition students, and, and let's work through it. We have no idea how to do it any other way right now because we. Let's not make a rash decision. And I was one who looked at that elementary and said, well, we could do this and we could we, do that. And we could. But and we, we could. could. But then it. We yes, exactly. Time. We need to look at it. And we need to see exactly how much we save if we do close a certain thing. But I don't think we should rush into it this way. Five years, Stockbridge kids will be here. That's my prediction. Well, it's in your article of agreement, clearly stated that your town will have to Five vote years. to close your school in your town. Yep. Not Rochester. put in there by a Rochester reported. person, knowing that your situation is very different from where we are in Stock Rochester. We yeah. understand that. That that is that article of agreement is something it's a that joke because we're not following it at all. Just let her finish. No, no, we no, are no, not no, following no. it at all. Well, I don't well, understand. Well, well, I don't think. I think we need to settle down. Yeah. Just take a breath. Jenny, so no, no, you feel that Joanne, 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 please. I'm just asking. I think that at this time, I don't think that we have time to fully evaluate it. I think that closing two zones in the high school is a good step in the right direction. Um, even reconfiguring the elementary school, there be a lift. You know, it's not going to be a very big cost, and it's not. I think. I do obviously agree with you that in Stockbridge, that that was the impression that's, that the high school's closing. I'm not saying that it's fair that it is staying open, but I think at this time, I think that in year one, it's just the way that the cards are dealt. Charles, do you have for the stock? It doesn't matter. Yeah. Um, two. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I think they. Listen, listen. I, I think that we're making a, a, a really big step in terms of in terms of uh, getting this shut down. My concern is that just closing the doors to close the doors um, isn't necessarily the best way to do things. And I also think that this that the Stockbridge voters and the Rochester voters have the annual meeting as their time to, to weigh in. And if the Stockbridge meeting... Twice as many voters, and you know it. That's twice as many taxpayers, then. Well, I think, I think what she'd like to see is um, somebody come in and, and see what the reconfiguration could be. Right, and we're going to do that. It's just... That's, it's that, just that, 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 the, the, the point is, we're all in are, you hearing, about, are you hearing yeah. about, are you hearing we're about all in time? Yeah. It's about time. time. It's, take time. it's just, and, and we're just, and so, we're going so through. many things, literally months, we've had, we got our first budget six weeks ago, two months ago, I don't remember. And, and so, you know, we're, we're, we're in this place and well, we're, we have to make a call. And I, I'm glad, I'm glad you guys spoke up. And, but I do believe that we've never actually spoken of it on camera in the minutes. We've never had even a moment to have conversation. No, 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 I know. Well, we got, we got kept getting signed, blindsided by numbers and, and, and not getting to some of the, you know, the real discussion. But this is our first 10. Well, I know, no, I know. No, I'm saying, I'm, I'm no, saying I know that, you are. That's what you're yeah, saying. Yeah. So is I'm saying this is how we learn. And, and I, learn yeah, exactly. And I, so I think that being solution, a solution-based process is we need the time to do it. Yeah, yeah. I think that's yeah. kind of, yeah. Changing yes. the verbiage around a little bit, maybe. I agree. Like, sorry, are you and that's what was in our, okay, was well, in our proposal, yeah. is that we were supposed to move, find an efficiency over a period of time that we're comfortable with. Mm -hmm. yeah. So it's part of your it's retreat. Just, yeah, yeah. Yes. And your discussion, your retreat about I mean, how you're going to do this. But I, 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 think it's, I understand, it, you know, what she's saying, yeah. but, you know, I also, I just lost my high school, mm -hmm. and I don't, you know, I'm not... I had getting emotional about with, that. I had that discussion with one of the other parents the last time. Yeah, it's and I said, you know, the Stockbridge kids um, are so excited to go to their school of choice. Yeah, and I said, the Rochester kids all of a sudden can't go to their high school. Yeah, because that's it's a huge that's, change. It, it needs to be spoken. Yeah, that way, because I got my caught myself getting caught up in a couple of things, and I kind of I try to be solution based mm -hmm. in my life, and mm -hmm. instead of just and um, I think when I took a step back and tried to look at it 
so how do I fix this? Right. That's what I came up with is saying things, I think you said at one point, softly to, to voters. Mm -hmm. And, um, and I, I think that's kind of, and I think Stockbridge has to realize that these kids aren't going to their high school. And this is a, a and brand where the, and But I think also the Rochester kids have to start being told you get to go to your school of choice. And, and we'll get and it's there. All, it's all of us kind of softening yeah. our verbiage and saying yeah. Yeah, exactly. solution solution wise instead of just right. I want it now. And I think your words I think your words are so wise because the bottom line is and I can say this because I'm the outsider, okay, I've been here what, three months. I really don't have anything vested on whether this building closes, Stockbridge closes, that zone closes. I, I really don't. I think, uh, I think the job of this board in communities and myself is to, is to every decision we make, the last question we have to ask is, how is this good for kids? Mm -hmm. And we're all seeing declining enrollment. We're going to, there are only going to be harder decisions ahead of us. There aren't going to be easier decisions ahead of us. But if we say to every question, how is this good for kids? We really won't go too far afield. A, a we, we just won't. But the softening of the language is what has to happen. Yeah. Because otherwise, people withdraw and they don't want to share their thoughts anymore. Yeah. And they just think Jamie's become the enemy, Amy's the enemy, I'm the enemy. And it's really not that. It's just how do we oh, do I the best am. for our kids? <laughs> it, oh, you are. In a way, <laughs> in, I don't believe that. I'll, in a, I'll, I'll be the enemy. Um, so, so we need to. Uh, um, I think we need to call, call on tonight. Yeah, are we are we there? Yes, we're there. Yes, we're there. <laughs> now, two. Can we? Can we? Um, Wait, you gotta let the IRS decide if they're there or not. Right, right. I'm there. I guess the question that we're at is. I don't to, know if you're there. I think we're um, eliminate. <laughs> She's there. Yeah. Oh, okay. me? I didn't expect me. No. So we're here tonight. So to eliminate Stockbridge from being over the cap, I would recommend that we remove the one person I think that we did that. We just yeah. put in. Yeah. Well, we, did we do that, David? Because if they come, I think it'll be fine, and we will find other efficiencies. Right. We're working together now, and really, this budget is going to pay for both right. campuses. Right. Um, I know we are promising to show separate, and that's what we're going to do. Yes. But I think we can make it. Yeah, I so I guess I'd like to make a motion that we accept this um, budget, uh, final budget number as presented. Uh, the number David is? Actually, I think we need to, to accept the, we need to, to, to war, do the warning, right? Yes, we do. Accept the budget. We do. No, we accept the budget. We've got to put the budget number in the warning. It's got approval on that. Okay. Can I take a comment on the, on the? No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was Jamie. <laughs> I think people are, are perhaps misinterpreting the agreement when it comes to being over the cap or under the cap because they were not, I, I suspect, correct me if I'm wrong, but I suspect that people were not including the fund balance carried forward as part of that cap. So if you look up here, it's a negative 18,000. So going into fiscal 19, that means at the end of fiscal 16, there was a deficit in Stockbridge of 18,000. That's part of the expense that puts them over the cap. If you take out that starting fund balance of a negative deficit to pay off, now I don't know what they were thinking of when they wrote the agreement, but it's possible they were not considering that fe feature. Let's put that in for information purposes. Yeah. No, I didn't. I mean, I, 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 to give you history, Dan, the, 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 the reason to separate that number out is there was great concern that with um, the, 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 the fan of students that had been uh, uh, allowing Rochester <coughs> to have uh, uh, somewhat of an easier time uh, uh, balancing a budget, with those going away, that there, that there would be, uh, 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 that, that there would be not as much resources given to Stockbridge as, as were given to Rochester because the, 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 the previous situation of the, the FAVIC students and the, the artificially low uh, uh, tuition versus expenses. Um, 
So picked up the emotions I'm talking about. The, the right. With the, with the, with the, with the, no, it was included. It was the bottom line that we were talking it was about. The, it, it was, was it whatever, was everything in bottom line. Right. Let's make sure that Starkbridge isn't funding so, Rochester. And the, and the funny thing is, is that it, is that the the, the, the the hypothetical situation we're looking at with, you know, as you said, saying, well, let's look at these students at this moment. It, it's the other. It becomes the other way around. Right. Um, uh, Rochester is, is is pulling Stockbridge out of the camp. Right. Um, You're looking so, at a 1.6 in Rochester, a 1.5 in, we, in Stockbridge, yes. and. Uh, so, what's our, what's our number? so that number's over. Did we not take him out? Is he is the student in or out? Out. Student, we decided out. the student is out. We decided the student is out. The student, student out. showed the body. Yes, okay. would, okay. we would all yeah, have yeah, we we agreed to take him out. There you go. He's out. He's out. Yes, now he's out. Because he never gets yeah, out. He's out. So if you can adjust that so we're below the cap, we can make a motion. <laughs> okay, so, so we're still over the cap. So what changed in Stockbridge on your paper here versus what you handed out tonight that pushed your Stockbridge above the cap? You want you insist on seeing the principal's health insurance. Okay, so you move that health insurance. Okay. So you contributed to it. Okay. We did 4060 and it'll be under. Yeah. Did you when you approached when you when you when you put that, did you put it 4060 or did you put it just even even? I heard the board say even even. Yes, we okay. did. Well, Bonnie's not taking them. So actually we're just going to have any. And I explained so that the zero should be unlocked. Right. 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 Oh, sorry. And that actually switches over. Right. 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 Oh, wow. I, I wasn't going to mention that. I was just going to sit here quietly. <laughs> I'm not even the accountant. <laughs> well, how about we go back and do it the way it was with the health insurance? Sure. I'm just sure to explain that at the annual meeting, have your backup ready. Yeah, well, we, we can just try. Just we're we're going to have to. I mean, we're going to. No, I know. We're, we're, before we go to the annual meeting, we're going to have to do a lot of that. We can explain that at the annual meeting. We're going to have to do a lot of sitting down and talking. Yes. Oh, we, we can do a dry run. We can do a rehearsal. Well, I'm saying, we should have a dry run. Yeah, so we have to write a Thing to do yeah. between the gonna, and the other thing is, I mean, we're gonna we're gonna face we're gonna face this and more at the meeting. We're and gonna I face this gonna, is. You're gonna be able to answer the questions. No, no, you're gonna well, I'm saying, but then we will. But I'm just saying, we need the emotions get going and it gets tough. <laughs> but, but we prepare. You know, that, that's the thing is, we need to prepare ourselves that this is going to be a, a tough meeting. Yeah. It's gonna be. There's gonna be a lot of people out there with just one. Yep. One axe to grind, and they're going to go for it. So yep. let's. I, I make a motion that we move the health insurance back where it was for this budget to be, for this budget that we're looking at tonight, to be under the cap for Stockbridge. All in favor, can you raise your hand? Do you understand we're moving the health insurance back? Yes. yes. Just the way it was. Yeah. Okay. Good. So we're going to do that, David. David. Thank you. Now do we approve the budget? Yeah. Well, now, now we just take. Now, can we make sure that that both Rochester and Stockbridge individually are under the cap, collectively are under the cap, and our tax rate is um, under the five percent cap as well? At as the criteria we set for accepting this number, we have to make sure that it's the case. Big enough to see? Yes. Yeah. Thank you. And so the, the, the total spending is the uh, the, 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 the budget is four two five one four nine four. That's correct. Four two five one four nine four. Mm -hmm. All right. I'd like to make a motion to accept this budget of four two five one four nine four. Second. Second. Motion's been made and seconded to uh, approve the budget for the total expenditure of $4,251,494. Discussion? Hearing that we've had enough discussion, all those in favor <laughs> signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Okay. <laughs> so the budget, the, 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 I was about to vote and realize <laughs> Town, good. You've been town meeting. Town meeting, yes. Regularly, regularly. That made okay. me hear your voice. So we have a we have a warning to take a look <laughs> at. Yes, I think against the rules. I've never been.
at this version. I looked at the previous one we had. Yeah, you said that. fine. So we did. So the number is the number correct? I don't think it is. So what's the warning for now? This is for it's our. Be David, can you go back to the number because the number we need to write it in. I will speak to the warning if I give it a chance to speak. Sure. Oh, okay. Sorry. Now that we've gotten the warning, uh, go ahead, David. So what I prepared was based on what existed before we came to the meeting. In addition, so there's the article on the budget amount to be warned. There's also an article there on a tax anticipation note or an, an, an ability to uh, take out a loan in advance of receipt of tax payments because towns don't typically collect taxes and pay taxes on July 1. There's a time lag and the uh, salaries and various other expenses have to be paid. So there's a, a lending article. And then there are three additional articles that are provided and you can just scratch them out and I can print out a new one if you don't want them. This is language which was prepared by our attorney for another district that wanted to establish three reserve funds. You may want to establish one, two, three, or zero. And whatever your choice is, I just wanted to have it available for you so that if you wanted it, you've got vetted legal language for a warning about a reserve fund. And the purpose of the reserve fund, of a reserve fund, for those who may not be familiar with it, is that in the absence of a reserve fund, if there is a surplus in a given fiscal year, there's a legal requirement under statute that that money be returned to the taxpayers in the next available budget, which typically, so if in fiscal 18, on in June 30th this year, if we have a surplus in any of the districts, of say $100,000, that money must be returned to the voters in the 2020 budget as, a resource, as, as an equivalent of a revenue. If there's, no, if there's no vote of the voters, not of the board, but of the voters, to create and to fund, a, a, you have to create and then you have to vote to fund it also. So what this provides for is A, the creation of a fund. That what it does, it provides a creation. So if if there is an interest on the voters to not only create the fund but also to put money in it, then that needs to be a separate vote. So one of the considerations is what happens at the end of fiscal 18. Another consideration is what happens in any existing reserve funds. So if any of the districts have a reserve fund for tuition or whatever, you want me to stop? I'll stop. No, no, no. I was, I was, you said if any district had a reserve fund, I was waiting for oh, my hands. Okay. Stockers does have a building reserve fund. So the terms of the agreement, which are still valid, despite other opinions to the contrary, one of the terms of the, of the agreement is that all the assets and liability of the districts that are merging become the assets and liabilities of the district that's being formed. So that means a reserve fund potentially, well, is it becomes an asset, but the question is if there's no pot to put that money in, it can't be used until a pot is created. So this is creating that pot. It's creating um, the, the, taking the money the new, So it's not taking the money, it's creating a pot so that when voters say, when voters allow it to go across, then it has a pot to go into. Right, so the Starbridge Building Reserve, um, we would, you need to use that same language that it's a building reserve, or does this board have the ability to say, okay, now I want that to be a, uh, I don't know, ground maintenance or something? Or it could be that, or it could be a building reserve for Stockbridge. Okay. So, so we could have separate the, building reserves for the different school buildings, or for the for the first and second grade in this elementary school, or for some something very specific. So as long as the voters agree to the language of the, of the terms of the reservation, it can be set up for that purpose. Um, the big thing, the, 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 the big issue I think would be that we would want to probably have campus-based reserve funds because that way, you know, they're, 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 they're not, there's not a feeling that everything's being, you know, uh, I mean, one of the reasons that we did, that we, that we did not uh, put money from the trust money from the trustees for public funds into this budget is the concern that you know those funds were set aside uh, years ago for the for, for the Stockbridge Central for the, for the Stockbridge School District it says in the bequest 
for the Stockbridge, uh, 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 one of the Stockbridge public funds. I'm not sure what the la exact language is of the Rochester public funds, but they're, they're there. And our thinking had been that we were just not gonna open that can of worms in this particular budget cycle, and we would just let the trustees of public funds keep their funds and invest them and roll them over, and we, we, would, we, well, we've, well, we had some, some more discussion and, 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 and figured out a way that the communities would support to, 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 to pull from those and use them for the students like they're, they're supposed to be used. Um, we would do that, but we weren't going to do that this, this, this year. So my question would be, number one, if we, if we either need to make separate campus building reserve funds, because the only, the only, we don't have a tuition reserve in Stockbridge, nor do we have a unified governance reserve. We only have a building reserve. And you're not sure if you... you I'm not sure. <coughs> I'm, I'm only from what uh, I know through the Articles of Agreement, I thought we did not have any reserves. I didn't think you did either, but I wanted to make sure that there was something that... Now, going forward, though, if we... If our board wanted to create a a buildings a a, a joint reserve right. fund for our new budget when our new fund balance comes, is that need to be taken care of here as well, or can we, that should that wait for another year? You could do that another year. Wait. We we when we 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 established ours and we just had a surplus. We're like, we should put money in. We know that our boiler <laughs> is dying, so we 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 we. You know, we identified the surplus in the uh, in the budget. Then we had an article that said we wanted to put this much of the surplus. You know, this much of the surplus. We're well, likely to have a surplus this year. I'm not sure if Stockbridge does, but Rochester, we are hearing, probably will. That would be good to right. So yes. What are you going to do? With it? Right. I just think I just think it's important that at least for, for for creating them now, we know we'll probably. I mean, even if there's, there's talk in Stockbridge about uh, getting the getting the generator finally and using our building reserve to do that. Um, we, you know, we will, once we get, <laughs> once we finish these meetings, I'm sure we'll, we'll decide uh, what we'll start to do about that. But I think it's important that Can we, we are establishing one, they, they, they're, they're separate. I mean, two, two points. One, um, just, and this is just emotional, looking at these four articles after we do the basic budget um, feels like we're asking for it. I'm, I'm still trying to understand what David's saying, and I'm sure it makes a lot of sense. And I, it's sort of just in the middle of the meeting to instruct this just sounds complicated. Two is can Stockbridge use its reverse reserve fund even after the merger is we've taken over the merger? If we set up a fund, so we have to do this, right? To do to get because otherwise, so the new board has to set up a Stockbridge only reserve fund. Okay, what and happens if we do not? This. What happens to that I, money if I, we do? I, then we need to get a legal opinion on that. But okay. My interpretation would be that the money is in limbo until until the courts decide. Okay. So, um, if if so. Well, the, the and the third option to be to to, 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 to be accurate is also that the, the <coughs> current stock if the if the current Stockbridge board spent that building reserve fund on on an appropriate use. Um, before you merge, before the before the before, before the merge, yes. Okay. That would that would take care of it as well. I mean, I, I lean towards what um, Ethan is saying that you know uh, we can make a we can make a reserve fund when we have a when we have a surplus to, to, to stick into it. Right now, there's no you know we're not we're not funding we're we're establishing uh, accounts that we're not funding at all with this article. Correct, David? Not correct. You you just said that you're going to reserve fund for maintenance in Stockbridge. So Correct. That one already exists. Correct. So as of July 1, it will be inaccessible, in my, my understanding, until we create a fund. Correct. If it, exists, if it existed July 1, it would be inaccessible. But, but what I'm saying is, is that absent that reserve fund needing a place to land, right. or absent and absent us not finding out that there's a Rochester reserve fund that, 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 that we're missing, these, these articles are all unfunded, are all unfunded, un, unfunded reserves. So Do you know how much the Stockbridge Reserve Fund is? I think it was just at 85, but I'm sure it does. It's not I think it's a little bit lower. Because I think it's not on the connection and such. Thank you, Bonnie. But I think that's, I think we, I think there was stuff that was, was paid on that. Um, so, like, uh, as Bruce was saying, at the end of this uh, FY18, Rochester possibly will have a fund balance. and. Do we need to set up the article now to 
What? No. No. So the next annual meeting, we could set it up. In March or April or May next year, if you oh, want we could, to. We could, call just, this. could we call this? Oh, we can call a special meeting to, to yeah. set up these we funds too. That, I would but it has to be warned 30 days in advance. Right. Yeah, but I would say that would make much more sense to make it a standalone um, issue. You know what? It would be nice if maybe we could think about warning this when you guys have found out for sure if you're going to be able to what you want to do with that reserve if you're going to spend it all down or if you want to move it into a stockbridge only um building reserve or move it into the whole district the problem is we have to warn it we'd have, 30 to, warn days. It. We'd have to warn it yeah oh, you're spending on it but it doesn't have to be with this but that would take this off so it's not a, a, a an issue at the meeting and we could actually do i mean we could literally warn it for the day later or a week later we just need to warn it in 30 days david just, just a, a question on so I, I finally figured out that each one of these articles, one is for improvements and maintenance, one is for second student secondary tuition, and one is for operational structure tuition. Um, so you have to create it. You can't just create a reserve fund. It has to be for these particular yeah, areas. You have to have a specific purpose for it. It yeah. can be specific. Maybe and those purposes aren't the ones you want. Yeah, right? well, that's what I was going to say. I, I, I really don't know. Really recommend that you think about the tuition reserve yeah. because populations fluctuate. Most of the rest of the districts that are tuitioning out kids do have a way of putting some reserve away to for those big classes that are coming through right. or some changes in, in the bounds. I, I would highly recommend that you think about doing that. And we can create a reserve fund at this meeting, even though we do not at, at this time have funds that are going to go into it. Right. Okay. Just so long as we have somebody who can really explain it well. I, I mean, I do understand. Get, take your point of like maybe we no, should just I, not I'm, do it at this same <clears throat> meeting, and maybe we should we should gather, you know, shortly thereafter. Well, before, yeah. I mean, our meeting's going to be in May. If we did it in June, set up a second meeting, but I'll, going on the assumption that our budget passes, you know, we could get it done even before the July July first. Right. 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 Again, we just have to warn it 30 days ahead of time. Just, I would hate for that 18,000 to go, you know, to be in the No, it's it's not that money in the budget. Oh, they, he, said, he said the reserve fund they have is 18,000. Oh, no, 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 it's 80. No, no, 80. You're not going to know what they have until <laughs> the audit's done, probably. No, no, Sockridge has a reserve fund now. Oh, you're talking about the one. Right. Yes. Yeah. And the concern, the concern that the first concern I had when looking at, at, at Article Three, is is that you know it, it, and I understand that going forward we're, we're we're one district. I just see that being a big flashpoint for people saying Stockbridge had put away. No, no, no. And he was money. saying that this was just an example, and we could make we, you can make it campus based. You can still this put is, in a, right. just can an we, example. Can we do that tonight though? Do you know those? Do you, so you could you could make that yeah. you could make that say. Uh, Take all these three out tonight. And print one which has none of those three in, or an edited version of one of them, or two of them. Right, but I mean, do we know do we know what the language would be for there to be a, a reserve fund for Stockbridge and a reserve fund for Rochester? I I believe that we will be close enough to be to be. Uh, Pay another, another 5, to review it, or we could just add in the words for Stockbridge campus. That could be a good sure, so let's let's do let's right. then, yeah. how do you feel about that, James? <laughs> 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 Sounds good. Yeah, that, <laughs> we could make one for Stockbridge and one for Rochester. I mean, that, would, that would that would that would clear my issue. Right. If it looks visually looks like there's equality right there, even in that, I think we're covering our bases. And then luckily, it turns out that Stockbridge does have money to put in there, and we just don't, don't have the it. The mechanics oh, would be if at the end of fiscal 19, there was a surplus of $50,000, and the voters said to be used for building maintenance, you could put 25 in and 25 in. Mm -hmm. So you could, you could still hold equity going forward, as well as what came through from the past. Right. Right. So can we then, I think, it, it, it maybe then we, we take our time would we use of the three. Well, I think it'd be it'd be it'd be the, the the future capital improvement and maintenance. It'd be Article Three, but we would duplicate it. and We would say uh, for uh, to in whole or part future capital improvements of two of the the, the district's facilities in Rochester uh, in Article such four. amounts, and then Article Four would be, would be the, the same thing with, with Stockbridge. With, with Stockbridge, yes. Yeah. 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 And then we have one for tuition. Yeah. Yeah. And, and we should do district tuition because yes. 
as you're going forward, we're not just not we're not talking about mo old money coming in. We're talking right. about, about now that we're together, right. money will be saved. Yes. So there'll be an Article 3 um, for Rochester, Article 4 for Star Bridge, and Article, Article 5 for tuition. For tuition for the union. Do you have a recommendation no. on an article um, about creating a fund for Rochester if it should be specified for buildings? I mean, I know we don't have one right now, but it um, it, it, I mean, it would be a good thing. I think we should. I'm wondering how um, so narrow. So boiler breaks, and you don't want to. You don't have money in your budget. Yeah. Some year, you've got money in this there. Exactly. The town does this. Um, with, the yeah. town does this with the trucks all the time. Yeah, but my so question is, if you want stuff, yeah. you have to yeah. running the fund. Yeah. So then, yeah, yeah, so it would yeah. say. Yeah. From the fund that means the Rochester board would be then transferred into. Make sure the dollar amount is right, and then we should be good to go. How specific should we be with it? I hate to get stuck with something that we later go. Oh, I totally agree with that. I'm just, I'm wondering about specific, you know. You're talking about a article that nobody's here with keys. Created. Somebody's locked the door. She said she's going to leave it unlocked. Oh. We have a key. I don't have a key. Is there another coffee or somewhere here? Ah, can can somebody call her? She, I can't imagine she's driven very far. Well, there's some little, well, there's some little, will she get reception? No. Bigger question. So okay, so if we, if we can't print it out. If we can't print it out, then we have to. Yeah. So we can we 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 can we can we can approve it. We can't sign it. We can approve it. Well, we'll we'll make sure. I mean, you've got a couple days that we can get this all signed, and I'll have to put somebody on it. So put a, we can put a copy to us. So that we can it. What's that printer right there? Can we can we. There's a printer sitting right there. Well, you're the tech yeah. guy. You're the tech guy. You should. No, I know exactly where you're going. Yeah. Well, I should have taken that Yeah, I think we should find out. I mean, I was going to put anything in this. One in about the building I am for now, and then it has to do another one. The tuition one? I think the tuition is really important. I think the tuition is important. I think the building is the tuition. So <laughs> so these three are the three I've been talking about. The two, yeah. one building for Stockbridge, one for, for Rochester. Yeah, and one, and one shared one. Yeah. Shared tuition. Yeah. I just think we have to be able to buffer those costs for like people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I agree. I think, um, and I think, I think putting it that way too, where it's one for the city. Yes, I think I can put it here So without me, yeah. I know. I'm so sorry. I'm going to take that over and do that piece. Well, you see if you can print. Just try to test print something there and see if it works. So the last piece we need to, we need to talk about that David points out is the. Look at the, 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 the date and times. We had agreed it was the we agreed it was here. We agreed it was seven. Now there do we we have we have agreed uh, that about it being in the Rochester Auditorium. Yes. I just want to make sure that that feels good still. Janie, Janie, this I'm is so important. Sorry. This is very this is pretty important. I we had all agreed on this before. Actually you're stuck with judges. Yeah, yeah. Just wait one more second. One more <laughs> the, we Thanks. had discussed this before and we had decided that we would hold this first annual meeting in the Rochester High School Auditorium. And I want to make sure that we are still in agreement and maybe with some public comment on red flags on that, that decision. Uh, I guess the only uh, the other option would be the meeting house. Call Joanne Master. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, shut down the tape. Um, uh, the reason I, we feel at the Rochester well, it's larger. It's so a lot larger. larger. We're going to have some people that this is might be yeah. the first time that they're really seeing it and see the value of it. And uh, I don't know. We've, I mean, we're. I've been, <laughs> yeah. yeah. It doesn't, it doesn't send up any red flags with you. That's what we're... I, I mean, it doesn't with me. I mean... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're feeling when it was big, it was the biggest space. Yeah. Yeah. And we were afraid, we were afraid, we were afraid that there'd be more, there'd be a ton of people here. I mean, we went to dinner before, like, in the... In the I think what, I think what um, a lot of people say is the Stockbridge people don't come when it's in Rochester. 
Um, so that would be the only both. scary yeah. thing yeah. is that more Stockbridge people will come if it's but you know, at in some Stockbridge, point, but at some point we all have that place is larger, so I think it, it, it's, it's, it's again, moves. it's the way You know what? It's the appropriate place to have it, guys. It is. Okay. Yeah. So I, that's it. We're one district, it's the appropriate And we also got to fit at the school. We got to get over it. Yeah, that's it. It's the appropriate place to have it. We are going to drive the bus. Stage, that's the place to have it. Yep. The auditorium is now an hour district. Exactly. It's that's your it. auditorium. Right. And the 15th is the date work. The date is still the 15th. I thought we had the 15th is the 27th. 15th is the 27th. No, we have to change. No, you guys need to vote on that 22nd being the date you're going to do this tonight, too. Right. Thank you. Push it back. You, you may go now. Thank you. <laughs> I'm working, I'm working that night. So the 22nd, Tuesday the 22nd. <laughs> we'll make sure we schedule it just right. Tuesday the 22nd, here, 7 p.m. Did everyone hear this? Yeah. Tuesday the 22nd. So if you wanted to vote on it, I could print it out tomorrow and we'd get around for signatures. Okay. Well, that would, I mean. So, so what did you say? We, we, you would like us to maybe, tell you what you, uh, tell you the articles? No. no, no. You've you got it? I've got the articles. Okay, can you read them back to us to make? Okay, so the first article is, article one, to get the reports of the school district, during the reports of the board of school directors, the district treasury, the order and the superintendent, and to take action with reference thereof. Article two, shall the voters of the school district approve the school board to expend uh, four million two hundred and fifty one thousand four hundred and ninety four dollars, which is the amount the school board has determined to be history for the entire fiscal year. Four two five one four nine four four nine four. Thank you. Uh, it is estimated this proposed budget, if approved, will result in education spending of. I will get the number is. Does this go too fast for me? No, 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 no. I'm, I'm fine with this. Because you did say you thought we should look at the language. No, that is for yeah. an, an additional. Oh, yeah, additional. yeah, no, 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 for okay, additional. Gotcha. Okay, good. But thank you for checking in. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 17,644401. 1764401. The projected spending will, will per equalized people is 7.7% higher than spending of the current year in Rochester and 7.6% higher than the current year in Stockbridge. Article 3, shall the school district establish a reserve fund to be funded from time to time from its accumulated fund balance, if any, and to be used to fund in whole or in part future capital improvements to and maintenance of the district's facilities in Rochester in such amounts as the district board of school directors determines appropriate. Next article is exactly the same, except that it's in Stockbridge. My, my instinct? Flip them? Yeah. Put Stockbridge, Stockbridge, Stockbridge first. first. Exactly. I think I'd just, I think just it's a little yeah. smoothing, a little bit. Okay. Yeah, I was going out for that. So that's article three and four, the yep. same, except for in Rochester, in Stockbridge first, and in Rochester, the one in article four. Then article five. Shall the school district establish a reserve fund to be funded from time to time from its accumulated fund balance of any and to be used to fund in whole or in part student secondary tuition expenses and such amounts as the district board school directors determine as appropriate? Okay. The next one is deleted. Mm -hmm. And so we then move from five to six. So six becomes shall the voters authorize the school board to borrow by issuance of bonds or notes for establishing line of credit, not in excess of anticipated revenue for the upcoming school year. Article 7, to, to, to transact any other business property to come before the minute meeting. Dated at Rochester, Vermont, the 17th day of April 2018, Board of School Directors, the 6th of mm -hmm. yes. My name and his place is Good. All right. So, so how do we move? I make a motion well, to approve. What is the time on the 22nd? 7 p.m. I'd like to make a motion to approve the warning for the annual meeting as David has read. Second. Hearing uh, a motion is made and seconded to approve the uh, uh, amended warning as presented by the business manager uh, to this meeting. Uh, discussion? All those in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Okay. Okay. So as soon as I printed in the morning, I will email it to you. <laughs> 
Yeah. Yeah. yeah like inside. Yeah. Like yeah. That's why on the back cover you put it. You know, yeah. picture above the desert where the two towns it's literally come together. Right. Yeah. right. And we have we have the, this has to be in their hand. And yeah. mm -hmm. so we picked May twenty second as the, the as the the day of the meeting. They have to have that 10 days beforehand. Yep, in their hands 10 days before. That's May 12th. So May 12th, so we need to, I mean. We should call, because there's probably going to be other ones going, Spalding gets busy. Right, we need to We need to check with them. We also need to, uh, and we also need to probably show the, 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 the audience <coughs> need to, to, to look at the numbers, right? Are there traditional reports? Yes, there, um, and. Do we write a letter? Yeah, the the the, um, the chair usually writes the board of directors oh, report. Right. <laughs> um, now I noticed in so this is what you guys sent out this year, and that included um, your school directors report, um, the principal report, and the superintendent's report, and then um, this is not the right one, is it? That's oh. the, that's probably the right one because that's the the this year's well, the one had nothing in it. Doesn't have the budget. Well, that's what I wanted to be citing, and I'm, here we go. Here, this is what I wanted to be citing, I had the wrong one. Okay, so you have um, right, this is your warning, because we had to have a warning, just like, like we did. Then it's a summary of the school meeting from the year past. Right. So we have also provided that. I don't think that's something we need. I don't think we need to put the SU report in, because we put it in here in Rochester's report, and you guys put it in sure. Stockbridge's mm -hmm. report. So. Um, uh, the only other reports were like through the principal's report for Stockbridge. Uh, <laughs> where is he? He's in the bathroom again? Yeah. <laughs> Seems to be going yeah, there every time we need it. Maybe next week, like, should we come together to? Like, oh, do we have one? Maybe? He left. I think he left. Uh, should we come together about the, the booklet? Speaking? I think he's around the corner talking with uh, David. Uh, yeah, or do we want to just set up a little, you know, a little committee that doesn't have right. to yeah. or anything to just create that's the Right, well, that's the, if, the, if, yeah. if you, Sorry, if you, the three of us work on it. Oh, okay. Yeah, let, let us know what I'm, I'm, Does that work? Careful. Happy to proof What are we talking I missed. We're just talking about the, um, the, book, say, or the, the booklet, and I, then rather than us all having to warn another meeting yeah. to come together, let's just have a, a small committee yeah. to, to work on it and get it out. I would be happy to look at any writing. Can you? I, I would really. You, I'm sorry. Do you? Who, which one of you did the Rochester survey? It was. Uh, it was the three of us. What would be really, really great, I think, yeah. to have it here besides this would be a, would be because you did some really great stuff for our survey. Yeah, I kept the survey. Yeah. Can you maybe look at their numbers, or because it'd be great to be able to say, right. as here's the score, but the trends are. here's what yeah. the, here's what so the can say. Yeah. This yeah. is yeah. Right. how yeah. we lined up. Exactly. Awesome idea. Idea. So yeah. if you could, if you work on that because you know all the survey data. Um, Jess. Yeah, Jess was. Are you able to coordinate with Jenny to get her some of that information? Yes. Thank awesome. you. Because that'd be cool. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, the the letter I've been writing yeah. it, that way we can have something to send to talk about yeah. our two different cultures and. Yep. Okay. Um, is, is it is it w worth? No. No, no, no. That's a good idea. Isn't that? Okay. So we can make an So great. All right. So. so um, anything else? We approved the annual report and and the public comment. Any public comment. <laughs> I think See, the public uh, has come to know. Yeah, yeah. Thank you so much for yes, yes. Yes. <laughs> You might want to consider, since the buildings are going to be kind of a hot topic, you and I talked about this. Um, perhaps at the annual meeting might be a good time to advertise for a building committee yes. that includes yes. community members that are really piped in about it, yep. you know, reel them in and get them to help make these decisions, including and, expanding and Stockbridge, yes. oh, yeah. utilizing space in Rochester yeah. so we can have people Looking from all the towns. Down teachers like, and a like idea. a couple of board members so you don't have to warn these things they can just right. happen you know in a living right. room or on the park you know right. so and just keep the wheels going and on top of that what, what we had talked about is us coming up with our direction what we want so that we can give this committee they can say well this is what the board wants this is what the board wants educationally this is the all right how can we make it work in what we have and where do we need to bump out? Where do we need to reduce? Yeah, I think it's a good idea. What's the money for? 
Um, there are two meetings that we need to schedule. One is obviously our preparatory meeting, which all we would all be at. Mm -hmm. And the second one was we said we would have an informational meeting once we decided on the both, In both towns. Yeah, in both towns. So we need to probably, okay. that's three, so three meetings we need to warn between now and May 20th. We are having an informational meeting prior to the budget meeting. Oh, we spoke we, of it last week saying so right. that it would be beneficial given, yeah. well, this is given the nature of yeah. last week's that's budget. That's what they suggested. Um, but to get, Charity made a good suggestion about hosting two different public, you know, forums where we present the budget taking questions so maybe the night of the budget we're not really going yeah. through such oh. a tough time we've already hashed out a lot of or our, we're going to do it three times well but or the other we'll thing do the budget is, three times. i mean you know this is all about how much we want to work but the you know that the handout for the for the merger was really really useful I mean, everybody said how useful that was and i don't know if we want to do even something like that whether we just leave it to a meeting or whether we do a handout saying these are the choices we've made. These are the pluses. Oh, yeah. Should we just write something into the report so we don't have another? Ooh, we don't want another good idea. Well, I was just saying, if we're yeah. doing these informational right. meetings anyway, it's always nice to hand up something oh, right. that then they can take with them. I'm talking about di diffusing the energy that comes into mm -hmm. that auditorium. Yeah. Is, is, is by the more information, this is what worked so well yeah. for us in the merger, was having that really nicely done information sheet, which you yeah, did. Yeah, who did that? Didn't you do that? I, everything, honestly, is. A blur. <laughs> what I, I did done in the last year. Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure um, you were part of that because I remember thinking. I think I added. It was part of a Rob, group. I think uh, Rob and myself. Oh, I remember and Rob. He was so an and then for I think that's a great Rob, idea Rob, because it just gets yeah, Rob definitely it, it just yeah. gets it, it out front. The, the facts. Let's get the facts right out front. Mm -hmm. I think we should also be highlighting the, the things that we spoke of tonight about yeah. the benefits yeah. to each the town and, 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 and things that we can't get to this year, but we're definitely want to plan later and and you know that's what i think that's we have a big idea. job ahead of us but so, so when do we want to have that meeting Hand that out at the meeting so the informational yeah. meeting right. so that then they have it well right. before so hand it out before the informational meeting or at the no i think i had the informational yeah. meeting right and then you know if they come so it has to be before the 22nd well the informational meeting has to be before the 22nd so we're getting tight yeah. for three yeah. meetings because I mean, or do we just let the informational meetings be our preparation preparation meetings? I, I would that might work. Yeah. I don't know. Let's 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 look at the schedule. Let's, yeah, let's. we do have a meeting. Um, May first. May first. Yep. Regular, a regular scheduled meeting May first. So we are here April. So be nice. So that I I kind of I think that maybe is our next meeting, right? Yep. May first. Yeah. I don't think we and we can. I do, I, I would let's, suggest that you do a prep meeting. Each of the yeah, That's what we're yeah. discussing. Yeah. Sorry, I missed that. I was no, talking. do you know? Awful. No, I was. <laughs> could you go to Madison again? <laughs> 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 He's, He's not. He's, not. <laughs> He's testing the plumbing. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> probably waiting in the building. <laughs> Sorry, you just heard that. Okay. Yeah. Drive um, so <laughs> we'll just plan for our regular scheduled meeting on May first, and we'll go. And we'll try to we'll try to have some some conversations about the the booklet and things so we can have some. Shouldn't Some we, final uh, stuff going on. I, I would well, I would recommend that we schedule the informational meetings tonight so that because we can we have them well in advance. Yeah. And then May 1st, we can do our informational sheet and do that kind of stuff. But okay, well, I just think you want to make it the week make... before the 22nd. Yeah, you so, yeah, so the week before the we first town. Do we want to do now? Do we, do we want to do a dog and pony show in, in each town, or, yes. or just yes. do it simultaneously? Well, I think I think night day would be fine. Yeah. Night. So the, night. So night. What about the Tuesday and the Thursday of the of the, the week prior? That sounds good to me. Yep. Uh, what is it? We don't need Bruce around for anything, right? No. Fifteenth and. 17th. Oh no, he has to be at both meetings. <laughs> okay. Well. I thought she was letting me go tonight. <laughs> um. <laughs> Uh, well, but Bruce is busy every Tuesday, so. No, he doesn't have to be at these. I think this is. No. So, yeah, well, I think it's a Bowie. So the 15th and the 17th? Yeah. 15th and the 17th? 15th, Rochester. Let's do Stockbridge first. Yeah. Sure. Stockbridge on the 15th and Rochester on the 17th. So uh, our Tuesday meeting, we need to think about what we need to prep for that, yes. um, such as lists of what's in the building repair and maintenance from both buildings, you know, so that we, we probably won't have it on the first, but let's make sure we have that list so that we can get it um, and be prepared. Bonnie was writing that down, remember? Yeah. So hopefully that, that will stick. Okay. All right. Now, can, what time are informational meetings? 